How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Big Six and welcome back to Big Steve. It's been a little while since Steve's on, but he has come in to fill in tonight. He was working late, so we thought, listen, let's shout Big Steve and see what he's saying. So big up Big Steve in the building again. Make sure you check out his channel. There's a link in the description. And as you can see, there's a new sponsor for tonight's show. Tonight's show only, Saturn System. For all your media needs, people, there's an Instagram link in the description below. There's an Instagram link in the live chat. TV shows, movies, sports in particular, YouTube, Netflix, all of that, all of your media needs, make sure you shout out, shout at Instagram, Saturn System, and make sure you go into their DMs and ask them what it's all about. They're quick with their responses, and they'll tell you a lot more than I can tell you people, but show them some love because we've all got one, and we're all enjoying it. So make sure you big up Saturn System, people. And Steve, you're back in the building. How you been, man? Good, man. Good. Been on holiday, nice and refreshed. Um not been a great few weeks last night obviously made up for it but um it is what it is man still here we're still going still clinging on the coattails and uh, that's all you can ask for i hear you i hear you. hope you enjoyed your holiday i just forgot to say grizz is running a bit late so he should be here in the next 10 15 minutes um so look out for that one i'll bring him in when he's good and ready and he arrives in the green room but yeah we can get started with that, Grizz. There's not much to say about Liverpool until we get onto this weekend's activity and the predictions and so on. So we're not losing out yet. And I'm sure Steve wants to catch up with Grizz as well because it's been a little while over there too. But yeah, I think we go head back straight to Steve because obviously it's been a long time since we've talked to him and he's coming off the back of a comeback victory yesterday against Tottenham 2-0 down at half time, 4-2 winners in the end. Mares masterclass in the second half. Steve, you just said hanging on to the coattails. It was a big, big win because you have the, the potential, will probably be two points behind Arsenal when we welcome United to the Emirates this Sunday, considering you have Wolves a couple hours before I expect the victory. But two points goes a long way considering the gap that it's been over the last few weeks and months. How are you feeling? It, to be honest, mate, the, the season's a bit crazy for us. Um we're definitely not at the races. We're definitely not the team we was. Um, the players are the same. The mentality issues, Pep's identified it. He's came out, said certain players aren't um, performing. I think there's a problem there with... I don't know, remember the big six early in the season when um, I said that I think a few Liverpool players' souls got broke by City. Um, I think, and I think a few of the Liverpool think we're never going to win the league. City keep doing it. I think some of our lot threw the towel in after Real Madrid last season. I think a few of them thought, you know what, never going to win this Champions League here. Bernardo Silva's on about going on beaches and all that. I, I seen him at Chelsea. I told him to get a sunbed. So he, he, didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he looked at me like a, a blank, but I said, you need to get a sunbed, innit? And he just was <laughs> like, you know, but I think City fans are just thinking, we, we know, listen, I go home and away and I know there's something missing. I can't put my finger on it. Pep Guardiola doesn't know. Uh, he's saying these different things he needs to work on. We're not the same side. Um, but the thing is, it's it's mad because for years and years, we we played with Aguero up front and we spammed loads of crosses in the box. And we used to say, why are you putting it into him? He's tiny. And then now we've got a monster up front. All of a sudden, we, 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 we'll pass it 60, 70 times across our own box and nobody will put it into him. So at the minute, being a City fan, it's a little bit weird. You know, you can go out there, beat Leeds, beat Liverpool, Chelsea twice. You lose to United, lose to Southampton in the Carabao Cup when you're thinking, you know, come on. And then 2 0 down against Tottenham, you think it's the same old city again, it's all falling apart. And then you come back second half. So it's literally a, a bit of a mismatch at the minute. I just hope that um, that last night kicks us into gear. But there's been a few where I thought it kicks us into gear and it hasn't. So, but look at the team last night, look at the plays he dropped Kyle Walker, Cancelo, Laporte, De Bruyne, Foden, all on the bench. Because he said certain people didn't want it. You know what I mean? So there's definitely an issue at City at the minute. And one thing I can tell you is when you're going for a title, you get this feeling just where the team and the fans are connected and, you, and, you, and you're going for it. And, and, you, and every game, you feel it that you, you're part of it. You're on it. It's a weird feeling. I see that feeling with Arsenal at the minute, the connection with the supporters and the team and the, the passion. They've got the bit between the teeth. If we need to challenge for this title, we, we've got to get that back. And we've definitely got the players to do it. But 
something missing in the, in the suit, man. So I don't yeah, know. I see, I see Pep talking about the the fire seems to have gone, and and it may be the cause of that is four league titles in five, and and maybe the lack of Champions League, meaning the players have got one eye on that, and and how important it is to kind of have that fire in your bellies to to, to be in a title. It's all mistakes, though. We're bombing forward with ten men, and we give the ball away and get caught on the counter, or. You know, it's little details which Pep is, 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 is always talking about, little fine margins that we're not doing. And he was really annoyed that Rico Lewis was getting kicked to shit and nobody defended him. Now, City have always had Fernandinho, Vincent Company, Ruben Diaz. P uh, people can stick the foot in and have it if we want to have it. I think a lot of these players are a bit soft. and I think they don't really fancy it. So there's definitely that kind of issue we've got to address. But, you know, last night was a game of two halves. You know, you're giving away two goals like that to Tottenham. If Tottenham come out second half and sit deep in a low block, they win the game 2-0, 100%. But yeah. I don't know what they were doing. But it's not. You know, see, it's not. the history of the Tottenham, that's why. It's, it's mad, me. but it's weird because... And you know what? After four titles in five seasons and after them runnings that we've done and them numbers, if we have an off-season, we're entitled to it. We're entitled to it because Liverpool are having a stinker. And nobody's blinking an eyelid because it's like, oh, well, this and that and the other. But last season, they were classed as better than us. But we're still there. We're still fighting. This season's a madness. Man United have come out of nowhere. They're finally playing how they should be playing. They're not playing any different than what you would expect them players to play. But Tanar's got a tune out of them. So, I don't know. It's a mad season. But listen, the one thing for certain is this. Whoever wins the league at the end of the season deserves it. No fluke. You can't hide. 38 games, you don't hide. Cup competitions, it can happen. Decision, VAR, you're out, whatever. But in a league season, the winner is the winner. I, I asked you on Instagram for some guarantees. I asked you for a statement, a public statement. Uh, uh, you said to the Manchester City fans, I'm coming back from my holiday. I'm going to calm you all down. There's nothing to worry about. And now you're telling me whoever wins it. What no, do you mean, whoever? you got to no, win I'm, this, Steve. Don't no, take your foot off the pedal now. Do you know what? When I when I figure out in my mind, I've watched a lot of football over 40 years. When I figure out in my mind what's going wrong and I see him address it, then the chest will come out. But at the minute, mm. it's literally, I don't know what Man City is going to turn up. Nobody does. How can you go to Southampton and lose? Yeah. And then go to Old Trafford, lose, and then be 2-0 down to Tottenham and everyone thinks there's a meltdown coming, then win, and then beat Liverpool and then do Chelsea at Stamford. It's just weird. It's just, I can't, the only, I can, it's weird. It's yeah. just a weird season. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, we've got 18-year-old kids coming in the team. Just 18, Rico yeah. Lewis, turning up, yeah. taking Kyle Walker's spot, showing more fight than half of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's The, the, the World Cup has it was been a madness for a lot of teams as well. It's, it, it's thrown a spanner in the works. But I don't know. The only way I can describe it is weird, man. Weird. Was you at the game? Nah, I was, on, I was in a flight. I was in a flight and I landed. The guy, the pilot, I asked the pilot, yeah, I asked the guy to ask the pilot, can he find out the city score? He came back and he went, you're getting beat 2-0 at half time. I went, you taking the piss? He went, no. And then I went, <laughs> I sat there for the next 45 minutes, like, wow. And then I landed and I kept saying to my son, soon as you hit 3G, because sometimes when you're coming into land at Manchester, yeah, you get yeah. them 3G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he went, dad. I went, what? He went, it's 4-2. And I went, I thought we got beat 4-2. I went, fuck's sake. He went, Riyad Mahrez got... And I was like, no way. And then when I got home last night, I, I taped it. So I sat there till 2 a.m. and I watched the full game. <laughs> I was like, I can't oh, believe it. I can't oh, believe it. Brilliant. That is a brilliant. Before, yeah. we, move, before we move on to Tobes, there, there was also comments on Pep around the booing at half time and, and whatnot. And I I, I want to say that considering what the players have said, Gunduan coming out saying, you know, the, the fire doesn't seem to be there, Bernardo Silva talking about his future. I guess the fans were booing the players. And, they want, they, I spoke to the boys today. They weren't booing the players. They were apparently they were going for the ref because Rico Lewis was getting oh. booted all over the place. Well, there might be some idiots in the Colin Bell stand that booing the players because they ain't got a fucking clue about football. But none of the boys <laughs> that go to the game are booing the players. No Man City, no Man City fans are booing the players. There's dude. trouble in paradise now. They're turning yeah, against right. each other. The players want to leave. Oh, no, that the booed, that stand booed. isn't Poznan in. The, 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 the media will jump on that. You can jump on it all you want. Man, I'll tell you now, if they were booing the players, I'd be the first one doing a video today saying he was disgrace. But it's Pep right Why are they going to boo the players, man? Is, is Pep right to say that the fans need to up their game in terms of the atmosphere, though? Is he right yeah. to say that in home games? You no, know, he said the atmosphere. Yeah, because... The thing is, at City, you've got one stand, the South stand, yeah? 
that mm. creates the noise. The rest of yeah. the place doesn't create the noise. So the South Stand is not trying its best. Pep, Pep's, you've got to be careful what with Pep because he's very clever what he's doing. He mm. knows that he needs to, yeah. to, to spice this team up and the fans. So what does he do? He comes 100%. out, he criticises the players' yeah, yeah. mentality and he criticises the atmosphere for the fans. He knows exactly what he's doing. Now, there's a scramble now between the City fan base for Sunday to be a fucking ramped up. So he's very clever what he's <laughs> yeah, doing. Yeah. The 1894 yeah. group that, that they do all the displays and that haven't been active for a while, they've okay. all of a sudden come back to life. Like, so if he gets the fans me. on side now, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and if he gets the fans on side now and gets the players ticking along and we go on a run, he's done his job, hasn't he? Whatever he needs to do, he'll get it done. I have no no doubts about that. I'm making half-time calls on Watch Alongs to X. I'm doing all I can to help you guys out. A little bit of juju here and there. Um, <laughs> even Tobes is happy with the result. Look at him smiling, man. The guy is beaming. Look at him. <laughs> but I think oh, you've you got your Tottenham yeah. merch on today. You actually, you're, you're happy with I know, this. I would not be wearing that. <laughs> Why? Oh, why would why would why would you do that? are a disgrace. <laughs> no, he's still my team. They're a disgrace to you. They're a disgrace to your fan base. Still my and... team. Still my team. I didn't know I was a plastic fan. That I just no no no. But you didn't do the match reaction. So you know what I mean. Like we were there. Yeah, I didn't do the match reaction because I couldn't be bothered. You really cared about him. He was over at TBL giving his match. I didn't do match reaction. I didn't do a match reaction because I couldn't be bothered. What's subscribed? You know that. That's fine. You, you do you do what you want to do, bro. Like if I've you got, think uh, you can, if you think you can rat me on this, then you're sadly mistaken, bro. If I don't want to do if I don't want to do a match, lot, if I don't want to do a match reaction to this team showing why they're so shit right now, then I'm not gonna do a match reaction to this team showing we, why they why they're so get, shit right now. Hold on, we didn't get a preview, we didn't get a yep. review. Why would you get a preview? My notification <laughs> bell didn't ring once. No player ratings. I gave you the preview on the big six. I said, I said to you, I said to you, Spurs are going to lose. This whole bogey team nonsense with Man City. Man City were good, always going to get the mojo back against Spurs. Always. Even at two, I had, I had three mates around mine watching it, yeah. And mm -hmm. even when we went tuning up, we celebrated, and nobody, still <laughs> nobody expected Spurs to win. We said, yeah, that's really bad. You know. this game. That's mad. We're not that's going to bad. win this game. I'm telling you, we're, we're not going to win this game. My friend phoned me at half time saying, "Oh yeah, City don't look the same." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, they don't." Like, really and truly, the blueprint is here for us to go and win this game. But I don't trust this team. I don't trust this team. Any competent side right now, yeah, because Spurs are not a competent side right now. Any competent side right now, tune up at the Etihad, you're seeing that game out. I saw Brentford go there and they beat them two one. Yeah. I saw Southampton beat City two nil. I feel like Man City in recent weeks have become a little bit predictable to play against um, in terms of how in terms of how to defend against them. And the blueprint was there. Man United showed you the blueprint the other week. Showed you the blueprint the other week. And you're tuning up. <laughs> and we, the thing is, the, the, the goals we scored, it's not even like we blamed Man City. That was one of the most boring first halves I've seen in a while. But this we, we looked somewhat disciplined, right? It was like at half time, we literally just got two goals gifted out of nothing. The first goal, horrendous mistake from, from um, Edison. Benton Cole does well to press Rodri and then Kulisevsky scored it. The second one, good graph from Harry Kane to force the shot and then good instinct from Emerson. But I was completely shocked. I, 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 when we went tuning up into half time, I'm like, how the fuck are we tuning up here? Because <laughs> we didn't do enough to, be, to, to justify a 2 0 lead. And the way this team's playing, I just didn't have any belief that we'd go on and, and do what we did last year, which is beat Man City. The belief in this team is gone right now. It's completely gone. And then when you supplement, when you supplement that with the Bozos, oh, Jesus Christ, look at the goals we conceded. Larice, Larice. <laughs> don't even, like, listen, Perisic. Listen, no, you, Perisic. Your, your name is Tap Out Tobes, isn't it? Tap Out Larice. That's it now. He has to tap out now. Literally. You, know what? Season, you, you, you need a new goalkeeper right now. Saeed, like, Saeed, I want you no. to get in all your jokes now. Like, just get them it's in. It's not about jokes. It's actually no, no, reality. No, no, no. That's actually not a joke. I, I'm saying get them in, brother. Get them in. I want no, you no, to. No, no, but I'm actually serious. Is that a joke, though, to anyone? Is, no, no, no. Joke, you said tap out Tobes. So I said, calm, calm. It's cool. Get your no, jokes No, no, no. Your man. name is tap out Tobes. So I'm thinking yeah. to myself, you know what? It's tap out Loris, mate. Tap out yeah, yeah, it's, it's time for Larissa to tap out of football. I agree, but I'm just saying to you, I want you to get all of this out. I want you to get all of this out because you know what? There's a there's a word. There's a word. I don't know if you can spell it. It's spelled K A R M A. It's called karma, 
and what goes around comes around. Yeah. Tottenham is not karma, mate. Listen, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What Tottenham you give, karma. you receive. You know why? Hold yeah. on, so I'm saying to you. There's no such thing as karma because that would never happen to any other club. Saeed, Saeed, relax. Saeed, I'm not getting history. on you. Saeed, Saeed, I'm not getting on you, it's bro. It's the history. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's the history. It's the history. So, so don't say. So karma. what I'm saying to you, Saeed, can I finish? What I'm saying to you is, when the shoe is on the other foot and it's time for me to dunk, I don't want to hear you say anything. I don't want to hear you make any excuses. I don't want to hear you say anything. I'm I don't here. want to see you cry like the gingerbread man I'm commercial. Here. I don't want to see you say anything. So I'm here. Yeah? I'm on the front line. I'm, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, you're here. You, so, you so, out. So I'm saying, you do know me don't worry, bro. Don't worry, bro. So let's get back. <laughs> let's get back on first. <laughs> Look at the goals you can see. The first goal, yeah? Like Man City up their intensity by like 50% in the second half, yeah? And... Just look at the goals you can see. The first one, oh my days, man. Like, <laughs> they passed Peris the pad. They, they genuinely passed the pad to someone else. So, Peris Perisic, to, to be fair, I don't actually. The thing is, Perisic had a shocker yesterday. Like, I think he was at fault for like, yeah. like two or three goals. But listen, Perisic is like 33 years old. Like, he's up against Riyad Mahrez. Like, I'm not expecting him to shut at Riyad Mahrez. But like, there are basic things. The second goal, Mahrez plays the pass to Rodri. Mares then makes the run. Perisic can see Mares making that run and you're just staring at him and then you let him get goal side. How are you getting beat in the air by Riyad Mahrez? I've never seen Riyad Mahrez contest a header. I've never seen Riyad Mahrez contest any header in my life and he's beating you in the air to assist Haaland for the second goal. Lloris, oh God. <laughs> near post under the belly bro, I love it I near swear post. to God like I think I think Lloris has been culpable for at least one goal in each of our last like, he's given me Claudio games. Bravo vibes it's vibe. nuts it's yeah. absolutely <laughs> insane and I love listen I love the guy but it's it's time to call it a day it's time to call it a day <laughs> right now I don't even want to see him go on to another club right now. Play for the hang up, just, just hang up the boots not boots hang up the gloves Hang up the gloves. Just if, call it. If day, Levy man, has any just... shame, he will bring in um, Raya from Brentford today. He will bring in Pedro Poro today. He will bring in these two players now. I Even don't if think they're going to sell Raya to us now. They, I, I think they'll wait until the summer. They, they, they're probably not going to sell him mid-season. True, true. And with what's going on with, with Paratici at the moment, I don't even know <laughs> what the fuck. Bro, the club's a circus, man. What can I say? The club's a circus. They're gonna have Toby. They're gonna have to be can, Toby. Can we get you deducted some points as well? Just just for, <laughs> just for the shits and giggles. Imagine Bro, that. this super chat is, is mad. I literally said this when the game was done. I said it's it's the FA Cup all over again. Literally the FA Cup all over again. We are three 0 up. Yeah. Man City come back to win the game four three. With ten men, with ten men in that one. <clears throat> yeah. And you were playing, you are basically playing up against 10 men with Spurs because Lloris wasn't, in fact, nine men. Lloris wasn't playing. Son wasn't playing. So, yeah. The way we've been playing, though, at the minute, I'm taking it, man. I'm taking that. We needed it. But, but you know what, though, Steve? I don't think it happens to any other club in that top six, you know, apart from Tottenham. I generally don't. That's why I don't want to give too much credit to Man City. Tottenham just bottled it. Simple as that. They, they literally fell to the asses and they just was like, they crumbled. That's what it was. Tottenham crumbled. Listen, City came back and it's a, they do it all the time, the comeback kings, but Tottenham crumbled, mate. And Sonia, let me tell you something about Sonia. If he carries on this form to the end of the season, I'm telling you right now, Tottenham fans, cash in on him in the summer. Cash in. Now is your best time to cash in on Son. It's Go not, though, is it? Because this is the equivalent of cashing in on a stock that's on zero. Like, this is not the best now time. Now you can get some in. money. How much, we'll you go, how much someone going to pay for Son right now? I reckon you get about 30, 40 million for him. Listen, let me tell you about Son. He's worth 100 million because of all them fans he brings with him. So pay what you yeah. just pay That's what you what want. You got, exactly. So tell him. There you go. He's got, he's got, he's got a, a commercial, you know, entity. You know what I mean? He's, he's basically the Ronaldo in South Korea. So he can bring all that crowd to him. And well, you can, you can't play. Team. You just can't. The guy's been stinking out the gaff for a while. You can't just play him because of these, these fans of people there, them Korean dudes wait, wanting to wait outside and see him and that. Yeah. Can't do that, man. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. ridiculous man, man. I was listening to Talk Sport on the way home, and Conte came on live. And his last guy, the guy said to him at the end, "Is it a, a, a long-term project that you're building?" And he went, "I won't answer that question," and walked off. So for me, he's gone. He's gone. I love it. Listen to Talk Sport last night. He's gone. He doesn't even want to be there. He, he doesn't, doesn't give a shit. He's he don't want to be there, man. The gap, the place stinks, and, and and look at the list of managers before him, and they're stinking out the gaff. Some big names in there. 
it, it, it can't be always be the manager's fault. There's got to be other problems there at Tottenham. There's got to be. Well, you said it. You said it. According to Turkish, we got one of the best owners in the league. That's what he said to me. <laughs> that's what he said to me like a year and a half ago or something. That's some sabotage like that. shit right that's, there. That's why we're here, my guy, for the Levy. No, you're director of football. He's in the nick with Mendy and that. So you fucked. <laughs> Who's going to be their um, football director? Is it going to be Henry White? Apparently, well, apparently, apparently, his his. Did you, say, did you say Did you say Henry White? Henry apparently White's going to be sitting. their sporting director, man. Alice the Gold is big up Henry, man. Alice the Gold is big up yeah. <laughs> Alice the Gold has tweeted that apparently, oh no, Paul O'Keefe, I think he said that the ban technically is not valid in England. So as of now, he can still work in England, but I don't mm. think he can do anything in Italy, which doesn't exactly help since all 80% of this guy's fucking <laughs> buyers are in, in Italy. <laughs> Literally negotiating a deal, trying to negotiate a deal now for Zaniolo. So I don't know, man. Honestly, I, I, I was saying it to my friend just now. I hope the whole thing crumbles, man. I want him to get to get jailed or lose his job. I want Enoch to have high enough <laughs> faces. I want the whole thing to blow up. So when Conte leaves, it's just burnt to a crisp. Just burnt to ashes. Up. Yes, the club is just finished. Blow it up, honestly. There's nothing Please. left. It's just a uh, just blow it up. Shitty, Genuinely, shitty. just blow it up, man. Would you, would you take In fact, let me, let me take that. Back. I don't actually. I don't want to wish jail on a man. That's that's that's. Can I? Can I? Don't want him to I couldn't. I told his little face. We, we had to pull up with mums and mums with the dressing gown, the pina coladas, and then his little face appeared and his little song, Antonio, oh, Antonio, Antonio, Antonio. Take Antonio, me back, Steve, take me back Antonio, to the Take me back to the Antonio, 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 Antonio. Before you turn the corner, man, we thought life is good, he took it to me now. The neon sign came back out, got put on the wall. <laughs> this is it, man. He's ready no, for the trophy. And now we've got a winner. And look at it. You're back to the same depressed Toby. That, that was all. <laughs> and he didn't even get anything out same of it. Shit, this same trophy. shit, different day, bro. Not, not even a, a memory. What trophy does he have out of it? Do you know what? Memory, nothing. Norwich, Life Norwich, is man. different and not in Saeed's way. It's oh, the worst. Yeah. It's the opposite. It's mad. First, I'm sorry I'm late, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. Um... But I come yeah, back, right? Wins. And we had, we had the. Uh, no, but it's mad, didn't it? I left the show and we were killing Toby and Spurs, right? I've come back a week later. <laughs> First thing I'm hearing is Toby was in, in the mud again, man. It's like, I don't even know why you lot stressing the guy out. Like, what is there to say about this club? And that, <laughs> no, no, why, why are they, on, why are they here? <laughs> why, liquidate. I'm with him. I'm with him. Liquidate. Because what did we all say? If if they can't get a tune out of Antonio, or if Antonio can't get a tune out of them, what's left after Antonio Conte for this club? Mm, yes, no, this is what I'm thinking. It's mad. Now our Torre is coming from the youth, man, to take Tottenham back to the glory Mate, days. We could do with him on the pitch. We could do with him on the pitch, bro. Because if they don't get, well, I think we discussed it in it. If they don't get top four, Conte's gone. If Kane's Conte's gone. gone, Kane's gone. If yeah. Kane's gone. Son and his, the whole of South Korea is gone. Was it North Korea? One of them. Yeah. Both, it's both definitely of them. South. It's North definitely North not South. North. Right. North Korea. <laughs> Second <laughs> hell. Second <laughs> hell, bro. Jesus Christ. It might be South Korea in, out and North nah, Korea. Bro. In. <laughs> it's definitely South Korea or Korea Republic. Yeah. Korea Republic. I'm so finished. what's left, man? Is Toby and Romero left? There's That's no it. past. There's no <laughs> present. Romero. There's no future. He might want to sell Romero the way he's played. This is this is the Tottenham. There's no past, no present, no future. I mean, they don't even have a good youth academy to to, to pull up. Bro, you know no, I mean? it's, it's, no, all they have is Scarlet. The Scarlet. Do you know what I mean? I don't Scarlet, know where he is. Bro. Scarlet Pimpernel. <laughs> it's mad. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. <laughs> and I think I see. We I think Saeed's nicked nicked what I said on his show earlier. Mm. Two new up. Man City can do that to any team. We know they've done it to mm. the likes of. Aston Villa, Palace. Who else have you done it to, Steve? Loads of teams, right? But but you shouldn't be doing it to a top five, top four team in 20 minutes. You yeah. can be doing it to Leicester's, Palaces and Villas. You can't. You can't have an Antonio Conte team being ripped to shreds. And it wasn't even... Pep didn't even go mad. They just increased the tempo in the second half. I don't think they made any changes, did they, Steve? Like, tactically or personnel. No. It just increased the tempo. Like they did just you see the bench. The bench was unbelievable. Unbelievable yeah. bench. Diaz, De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. it was mad. 
Foden. Even, I think he's, I think oh, he's kind of just Chalo. emotionally dejected now. He's, he, he, Antonio Conte, he, he wants everyone to feel sorry for him. I get that. But it must be toxic in there. Like, imagine looking to inspired yeah. by a manager. And you got him just kind of so. He's got a vibe him. about him, though. Don't you think he's got a vibe about him that's like, it, yeah, it's, it's not that infectious vibe that you get from your manager where you you need to feed off your manager for energy. Always looks a bit moody and that. And I get that when you're winning, you can take that because you can think, yeah, he's, he's, he's moody, but he's getting the job done. But when you're losing and he's turning up and he's not committed need, to this, he's not saying You need that, to change it up. You need yeah, to change it up. The fans are like, they don't need that. Even Jurgen got against uh, Jurgen went to the fans the other week and were like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You need to do something hard to, to change see. it up. Yeah. It's hard to see, but as a fan, you you think fair enough. We've 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 made our manager do that. That pissed me off. Pep's done it. Comes over and goes. I'm sorry, whatever and that. But with him, he just seems to be a bit. Oh, I don't know because he doesn't give a shit. Like Pep, yeah, cares. that's how it comes across. Man. Cares. Conte doesn't care. He doesn't. He doesn't care. Conte I doesn't agree. Care. And it's like I think Toby will admit that as well, though. I don't think Toby will deny that. No, he, he is. He's a mercenary he manager. He's yeah, a mercenary. He's, he's proper mercenary, and it's like with Conte, it's always short term. You get your trophy, always. you get out, and if you don't get a trophy out of it, you don't get a better squad out of it. You and that's it. Like there's nothing else to to win in no, the raffle. You, you missed one more thing. If you don't get if you don't get the trophy. Or the glory out of it, and you You're don't stuck. give him what you want. Mm. You yeah. get a stink fest. Yeah, that's what you get. You get a stink fest, which is which is which is what we're getting now. So, yeah. yeah. So for you, Tobit, are you are you saying now that it's time for him to go? I think so. Like he's not gonna stay. He's he don't want to sign a new deal. The club aren't gonna operate the way he wants. I would love. I would love. For Conte to stay, sign a new deal and see that the club are going to spend X million on this first choice target, two first choice targets at centre back, first choice target at right wing back, central central midfield. I would love for, for all that to happen. And then guess what happened? Guess what will happen after that? I'll fly off on my spaceship with Halle Berry and I'll have ice cream and I have all the all the money in the world because it's never going to happen. Man. What I just you know what about? You, it's a dream. La la la. It's a dream. Hey, Tobe. And do you know what's bad, Tobe? The blueprint is Arsenal. And when I sat there 12 months ago and told you that, you ripped me apart and said, we've got a proven manager, this, that and the other. They've got this guy, this, that and the other. And look at it now in 12 months, man. Look, the patience yeah. paid off. Going for these big names with a mad, you know, like, like Conte, don't always work, man. But the blueprint, whether you like it or not, whether you're going to admit it now on this show, the blueprint is Arsenal. So maybe it's time to get an a unfashionable manager in and give him that word. Like I said 12 months ago, time. You know what? I said but to him about like you. I've never, I've never had an issue with giving the right manager time. I granted, I do think Arteta definitely many points he could have been sacked. But when it comes to Spurs, I've never had an issue giving any manager that I truly believe in time. Look how long I've been saying for the I've been saying for the longest how Conte is going to turn it around. Conte because I wanted to give this guy time. I've given you sufficient time. Giving you sufficient back, time. Bring back so, was your idealist. Don't you think the pressure's on on, on Conte? <laughs> you know. Because Conte has done it before and he's won it before, the pressure's instantly to deliver. Mourinho was the same deliver. With Arteta, it wasn't. This is what I say. We all said it. The rookie manager, the employer rookie, takes time. And look what's happened. He won the FA Cup, which I thought was massive. He, and, and, and people were still calling him a cold man. And I used to say, well, if Tottenham won the FA Cup, the, the guy would get time because everyone would love him. And then look at him now. He's building what he's building. And, you know, people respected him. I've still got the receipts of them Arsenal fans outside the Emirates last year calling him a cone man. And Steve stopped sticking up for him because he worked for you. He's this, he's that. I've seen them same people dancing on sofas, yeah, doing fucking roly polies in studios, yeah, singing Arteta's name now. And it's it's only 12 months. One of them, Steve, one of them is right here on the stream. <laughs> Um, He's living life, man. He's living life at the um, table. Man. Yo, yeah, exactly. Turkey's okay to be shameless, isn't it? Yo, like, good, man. Turkey's came yeah, man. We have to be oh, open for shit, man. Oh, I remember yeah. Turkey's one of the most. I remember Turkey's one of the most. He wouldn't even I sing that Arteta song in the away end at Villa Park. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was singing it and it was like, I was singing it. Hey, that song made his debut on Sunday at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, my mate. Oh, shit. It's really the point. It's now. There's the videos that now. No, no, listen, oh, listen. Shit. You can be check them. You can be open to different opinions in it, but at the same time, like I said, Toby, last year I was calling for you to go and get Eddie Howe and you turned your nose down on that one. So, oh, 
Oh, you know I mean? oh, everybody's charging it to the oh, game tonight. No, everyone, hey, everyone, everyone has their own receipt. Everyone has their receipt. I'll have the receipt. What, what is it? Is it um, Wait, what we do? We, we if, find if, if Saeed's if Saeed's got receipts, if Saeed's got yeah, receipts, yeah, it's a long day. Life's different. Life's different. Everybody's fighting for taxes or something. What? What's going on? He can he can have all the receipts and he, he wants. I was justified in my opinion to say I didn't want Eddie Howe. I wanted someone with a bit more experience. Granted, Eddie's gone on to do great things at Newcastle, but I wanted your manager. I wanted Ten Hag at Spurs. He was in the he was in the he was in he was in the running for the job at Spurs. I wanted him. I would have taken Graham Potter. I wanted both of those guys over Nuno. I didn't want Nuno at Spurs. So I was willing to give even managers that I didn't truly. I was willing to give them an opportunity. But when 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 we have a board that don't even know what they want. <laughs> and I'll just sort of free gunning it. What, in a way, what, what guys, what, uh, guys, don't you think, in a weird way, I think Potter would have suited Spurs more and Spurs would have suited Potter more than Chelsea? 100%. Like that? 100%. That's not even, it's not even anything to think about. It's a fact. Mm. It's a mm. fact. That might happen, mate, because Graham's on, you know... Graham's fucking under it over there at Chelsea, so that might not end well for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man. Graham's just sat there in the office. They're just opening the door and going, hey, Graham, here's a fucking player for you. Here's another one. <laughs> one for you. He's like, I've never seen Potter with any of these players shaking their hands. He's just like, he's, does he yeah, even know he's signing man. him or what, Matisse? He's not involved in all of that hoo-ha. He just wants to get to the training pitch, get the cones out, train them up, you know what I mean? And the let, new let, cone, man. The new cone, you, man. Yeah, but, yeah, but at this rate, you, you guys have got more players than cones at Chelsea. Yes. Yeah, it's wow. true. You, it's true. You've got bibs. You've got the bibs. <laughs> Wait, they don't have bibs. Um, Wait, they've run out of bibs. They've run out of bibs. They're boring. Yeah, bibs, uh, they're boring Fulham's bibs. We, we run people... out of shirt numbers now. We just we just giving them zero. Six man squad. Thirty six. Are you taking the piss? Apart yeah. From, are you taking? And the how many? Pisses? How many of those players are actually like thirty? Well, half of them are leaving, so we don't have to worry about that. You know what I mean? No, I'm yeah. saying this, the players you signed. How many do you believe? Well, be... we'll have to we'll have to see. This is the recruitment yeah, team. We'll have to I, see. I, I I don't watch the Ukrainian league and. Uh, you know the Moroccan, the, the Moroccan. No, ask me um, in it. I do, I do, ask Yeah, me. you watched the Ukrainian league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, yeah. what do you think of Mudrik then? What was oh, his last? I already told. I told you, Mudrik is is a flying winger. He doesn't watch the Ukrainian I... league. He's watched highlights. <laughs> like yo, 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 calm, 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 calm. Na yeah. Name me, name me five teams in the Ukrainian league. You, you already know I'm football focused. Yeah, okay, tell, yeah, tell me five yeah. teams. Answer me a question. Who? F five teams in the Ukrainian five league. Teams. You can name Dynamo them. Kiev. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, yep. um, uh, Dnipro, D-N-I-P-R-O. Yeah. Um, i look at the comment. He's gonna start, comment? Oh, she's going to start Googling. What? He's what Googling. Comments? I'm going to put it in my hands. Yeah, I'm going to have I only watch the big games and they're the big teams. <laughs> you named the top three teams. But, the, but the point being, but the point anyway. being, I, looked at, I watched a lot of Shakhtar in Champions League and in Europe when they got knocked out of the Champions League. Um, Europa, sorry, I think he's a fantastic winger. I've told you, he's what Liverpool fans thought, and this is a throwback. This is when you know what I know what Mudrik's about. He's mentioned he's, Liverpool. He's what <laughs> Liverpool fans thought Lazar Markovic was. So we thought we're getting this wicked, dashing, flying winger. He was oh, shit. Who's that? Shit. Markovic? Who's that? Yeah, Serbian. Markovic. That's exactly. a Serbian exactly. one. Yeah, yeah. One. yeah. I remember but this guy, but this guy, and I've said it as well, this guy for me is better than Gakpo, the one we fucking ended up getting. getting. Oh, you, you put a little swear word on that. Yeah, I don't think you're very happy now. with Gakpo, are you? No, no, no I'm not. not. We're going to have to have a little conversation about that. Gakpo, Gakpo. 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 Yeah, Gakpo, yeah. bruv. Gakpo, Gakpo. 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 <laughs> and, and, and Noni Marju, who he just signed at Chelsea, my guy in Holland is the PSV guy from the Ultras there. And I text him and asked him opinion on both. And he said to me, honest opinion on both, he said, both of them, tremendous talents, but won't make it in the Premier League. That's what he said. I'm with him. Watching I'm week with him. He knows the players and that. He said that to me and I was like, shit, maybe. But there's not a lot of... Gakpo's giving me... Gakpo's giving, giving me so much Ryan Babel vibes. Like, you're going to see some Ooh, mad goals from Gakpo. Ryan Babel, man. No, 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 no. I'm being serious. Gakpo's going to score a couple of stunning goals and everyone's going to say, yo, Grizz don't know shit. Grizz don't know ball. Look at this goal. Mm -hmm. When you watch him play, he just doesn't do enough. Gakpo won't do enough. I am hope I'm wrong because if I'm wrong, he will smash it. But Mudrik, Arsenal going to feel gutted because he would have been perfect ah, for Arsenal. Do you know the best signing of this window was Trossard. Oh, yeah, I said that already. Mm. Million Trossard. percent. 
Forget yeah. Mudrick. Mudrick's a risk at that kind of money. Arsenal don't need a risk. Trossard scores Smart. goals in the Premier League. Mm. Smart. He works hard. He's a he's perfect addition to the team. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Prem proven as well. So he'll he'll just he'll 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 move on. I, just, I just want to ask because I think Tobes is a bit too too lenient with Conte. How much did you lot spend in the summer? I'm not lenient with Conte. I said he's culpable, bro. No, I know, but you, you tend to say he's culpable in terms of decision making on the pitch. But when it comes to off the pitch matters, you you hold Levy and Enoch to the you know the, the the sole responsibility of where the club is. But I just want to ask, well, how, how much did you spend in the summer? Uh, like one fifty, I think. One fifty in the summer, and he got two players in in January in his first window. That yeah. Know, how much more can they back a manager? The Turkish. Okay, I'm glad you asked this question. I'm glad, I'm so glad you asked this question. The summer before that, the summer before that, yeah, when Nuno was the manager, how many first team, like genuine first team players did we did we buy? Who did you oh, buy? Silence. We, the we center, bought, the we center bought, back. Uh, we bought, we Romero, bought Romero, 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 Emerson Royale, um, Pape Matasar, and Brian Hill. Yeah, so just, just the center back. So... How many no, of those? How many of those? Are you talking about Conte, though? Yeah, but how no, no, yeah, yeah, he, he's, yeah, so but he's, talking, he's talking about Conte, and I'm trying to explain the journey. I'm trying to explain that any manager that would have been in the hot seat, not just Conte, any manager that would have been in the hot seat would have been would have been um, in receipt of these players, this type of money spent, because it's making Trump's, up for I tell, years I tell of you, I hear you, but who, who are we to determine what constitutes a first-teamer? So sometimes it's not about a name, like Steve said. No, look, you put your head in your hands, but listen. To I am, because I'm not it. talking about names. I'm talking about age. Brian Hill was 20 years old. Patrick Matastar was 18 and was on the low knee, bro. Okay, I'm that's just two. Age. Okay, that's just two. But you've also picked some experienced players as well, like the likes of Richarlison, Perisic, Bentic, all of these players. So in totality, you've got about seven new signings, would you say? Around that much, lads? Uh, now, yeah. that is... A, that is a significant amount. I are, you justi- are you justify? Is, is your performances and your levels justifying appointing Conte and giving him seven, eight players to add to the squad? No, it's not. It's not. And, and that's, that's, not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to explain. And I won't, I won't argue against that. I mm. think he's done a shit job this season. I think he's done a crap job this season. Mm. I don't think he's managed the squad well enough. I don't think the football has been good enough. We're not winning games. We're not keeping teams out. We're not even scoring that many goals anymore. I think right now he's doing a terrible job. And I've said at various points this season how he messed up the he messed up this game. I've come on here multiple times and said, oh, we won, but Conte messed this up, messed that up, did this, did that. But when we're talking about the players, right? Yes, he's been given some players, but you have to look at the position the squad was in. Eric Ten Hag spent 230 million in one summer. In one summer, and it's still not enough. Why is that? That's United. No, no, yeah, yeah, that's United. Exactly, it's United. It's not Tottenham. Yeah, no, but I'm trying to make an, um, a point. He spent 230 million in one summer, and it's still not enough. Why? Because their squad was an absolute mess at the end of last season. A mess. When you look at Spurs' squad, the squad that started the season with Nuno Espirito Santo, it was on its knees. It was on its knees. So, and then when you look at when you look at the spending that we've done since we've moved into this new stadium, it's to make up for years of a lack of spend. Mm. Eighteen months okay. without signing, letting the squad I mean, get. How many years would you go back? Because ours is about. Hold on a minute. Ours is about probably six, seven years of mismanagement. How long would you say? Yeah, but the difference is, Saeed, is that you guys have spent a billion and they went through three years at Poch with spending no money and letting Ida Vero leave, <laughs> letting yeah. Tongan leave, yeah. letting I get it. I get Danny it. Rose leave, letting I'm Walker really leave, cool. letting Trippier leave, letting Ericsson leave, yep. Deli Ali leave. Like they have not right. they have not done shit with that team since Poch my, my, won the since since Poch got to the Champions League final. You are not gonna see too many players that have been Apart from Kuliseski, Bentoncourt, and probably um, Romeo at centre back, that's that's all the only players they've brought in to really improve the team. Look at look at look at. Thank you, Matisse. Look at the so the, this money that Conte spent. Yeah, he's he, he spent some big money, and even even the summer transfer, people are like, oh, why is he complaining? He spent 160 million or 50 million, 42 million out of that was for a centre back that we agreed a deal for last season. So this is a player that Conte inherited. But because we didn't pay for him last year and we're paying for him this year, oh, it, he spent this money. Well, no, it, 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 
we've not improved as a team. It's still the same player. He's still there. It's just we're, 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 we're a year late now in terms of making the payment. If so you look me, at it, if you if you if you calm down and analyze it, it's true. It's, it's of course it's the. I'm not. Fault. I'm not. Listen, no, 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 I'm, no, 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 no
Hope you're good, Max, as well. Um, fair play, Man City, but by I've never seen a defence crumble that fast. At 2 0, all Arsenal fans, including myself, were rubbing their hands, but Mares obviously heard me saying, Surely he's going to come on and have a masterclass. I retract my statement. Mares definitely did turn up, and Mares tends to turn up when, when, when needed for Manchester City, not just this season, but in seasons gone past, too, especially in the Champions League recently. And um, Thomas says, Matisse. I'll save this one for the Chelsea talk, Matisse. Um, sorry, Thomas. Um, where are we? Where are we? Let me get the Tottenham ones in before we keep it moving. Why Grealish don't like making the right pass? Mara should have had a hat-trick, says Jason. Although I was disappointed by the result, Matisse, your watch-along was hilarious. Instant classic. Stop making those half-time calls. Matisse is making me sick. The calls work, Turkish. You were there in real time. You saw what I did. What I what I spoke into existence, and you doing the watch on tomorrow? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Johnson. Say no more. Why are you upset? I'm, I'm doing no, this. I'm doing upset. This. I just asked a question. I said, "Are you doing a watch long tomorrow?" I and did I, this. You answered my question. I said, "Say no more." I did this for the greater good and for the benefit of X. That's and fine, bro. And all That's of fine. Because, just, just don't you guys, all, you. you guys were all That's lost fine, in the moment. Man. Matisse, and we don't have emotional. to argue. I just asked you a question. Are you doing a watch on tomorrow? You I am. Answer, yes. So all I'm saying is, just don't put your phone Bro, in my game there, is yeah? a mid-table little clash with... Don't me. put don't your phone... No yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Do not this game is nothing. We're not even... I don't even... Are we even live? Are we live? Are we Matisse, even broadcasting? You, no, it's Listen, not. Listen, we don't no. have to argue. I, all, I saw, all I said is... What are you going to do tomorrow? Are you going to be in my chat calling me a virgin? Don't put your phone on do not have to. That's all I ask. Thank you, bro. Bro, my game doesn't mean nothing. Peace and love, bro. Peace and love, bro. Spud me, G. Yeah, spud me, G, bro. It's a calm game. This game is light work, bro. It don't mean nothing. Yeah, man. So don't put your phone on do not disturb, innit? Where are we? Memi says, you went to score 15 from deduction and Paratici has been banned from football for two and a half years. Yeah, what's going on, boys? I've been out. What's this? Is this true? What's the situation? Yeah, yeah, it's true. They've Imagine. got a like, reduction. Yeah. Wow. The Italian FA are gonna are gonna ask the English FA to to with you know put put that into place. It depends on whether the English FA will put that into place and what effect that has on Tottenham. But I assume they will. Mm-hmm. Um, Imagine there was an interlink between them. Imagine. X Four says Tov might as well support Newcastle. They'll probably win a cup before Tottenham. And Tottenham still making top four, and whose spot are they taking if they are? Tottenham still making top four, and whose spot are they taking if they are? Oh, you're asking. It doesn't look likely at the moment with Man United playing the way they're playing, and Newcastle not not falling off yet. But it's only 18, 19 games into the yeah. season, so still very early days. Gunners fan team says, big up the panel. It's great to see the OG Big Steve back on the show. Said, have you still got the chest for Sunday? I can't wait to see some F United. He's saying not in there, so we're going to get into that one soon. Yeah, we'll the new channel. Depression's oozing. Big up, Boogeyman. Um, Owen says, Are we updating Tobes of his new role here as special guest referee after <laughs> Kane and Conte leaves Spurs, or are you or will you rather let him know not in the public eye? I'm cool with either, to be honest. Yeah, we spoke about this on, on my solo stream yesterday. I'm going to talk to Toby, man, because he's talking about his club needs to just you know liquidate and just finish and burn to a crisp. So We've got football to talk about twice a week here. Um, so, yeah, there might be a new role for Tobes coming up next season. Get the black and white shirt ready, Tobes, and get a whistle and a yellow and a red card, and, and you're in. You're high oh, up. You know, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Turkish, man. That's too much, man. That, that's a lot of... Yeah, man. What, too much. He, can support, he can support... Violence. Him. He can. Violence. What's wrong with that? That's my guy. I don't want to, just because Tottenham go. Well, we, we can't kick him off the show. We need him here, so he has to support Newcastle, man. I heard the good of Mark, the show. Amidst all this mud, there are still two teams on this panel that are five points behind Spurs, and we've I'm lost trying to understand how that is relevant. We've lost in six points. Guys, deep that. Deep deep that. that. The big Spurs six are this... shocking right now, Listen. and there are two teams on you're this being panel reactionary. that are five <laughs> points behind Spurs. My friends, you are being deep reactionary. That. We're That's not talking about points. We're talking about the, the bigger picture, the actually... collective. <laughs> the collective. If you had won the Champions League a couple years ago, you'd still be singing about it right now. You'd be still singing Antobio's name. Let alone being five points behind. We all know what the real situation is. And you know, you know that's mad, yeah. You know, Tottenham's just... gonna be so shit, but he can use his like a bit of artillery 
to shoot at you. What it's artillery has he got? Because he five <laughs> points. Oh wow! Oh, Toby, Toby and Tottenham are five. Oh, I wish I was Tottenham. Come on, man! Don't don't piss me off. Tottenham are no, five no, points no. clear of me, I'm and I meant to, and I meant to I'm give it that. It, it's not often I I agree with Toes, but he he is kind of right. You man, you, you man have spent like four hundred and sixty million. <laughs> Who in your gives a damn? You. Get your money up. You're broke. Okay. Get your money up. Get your points up. Get your <laughs> get points up. The points will come. Are you the sure about that, come. Yeah, the points will come next season. <laughs> I could have said the same to you a couple seasons ago. Now you got your points up. I got short term I mean? memory loss, my guy. I can't remember those days. I still. have yeah. you, 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 I bet you got. I think she's happy again. You got trust on. I, I see. I see. I told like I just backed you, my guy. And now you're coming from my neck. I, I don't, don't want your backing. Yeah, he's backed <laughs> you. <laughs> I told. I, I, I hope you're well, my guy. I hope. You're well. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This guy's ridiculous. Real, <laughs> real Costco fans have slugged on their way Wembley. Bottlem got Trembley. On they go. On they go. Bottlem kings of bottling. Come on, you spuds. Come on, you spuds. Love for the super chat, my guy. Um, where are we? Where are we? Told strategy is always threaten others with he will bully them when his time comes. Listen, you got you oh. got to do, you gotta do what you gotta. They think telling the truth is bullying, mad. Okay, you got to do what you got to do. Um, let me see if any more coming. I'm gonna save them as I go, people. Paratici banned for 30 months from Serie A, and Juventus deducted 15 points for illegal fraudulent transfers. Yeah, I see a few of the super chats saying that. Oh, yeah, and says Tob still Conte over Arteta, is it? By the way, this side's energy will be shut down Sunday. Don't worry, guys. Trossard, clutch. Come on, you gunners. Listen, we love the, the super chats and that, but it's almost as if you just keep saying it. Just relax, in it? Like, what's this all the confidence, man? But we'll get into it. They got the panel, says Paul B. 55-inch chest gone to 25-inch chest. We got slapped by Palace and now nervous for Sunday. As Grizz says, football is a humbler. I'm humbled. Grizz, I'll get you a kebab when I'm in your ends. Respect, boys. Why is, why is this? Why is it only Grizz? I'll come to your end, bro. No, no, no. Relax, in it, all of you. What, what, what ends, bro? I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there already, ways, bro. I'm already there. Tell me. <laughs> Messi the goat says it's the history of the Tottenham bottled it. Bottle them. Tob, did you get excited when Chicken Real scored? You need new centre backs to compliment Romero. Yeah, he's still there. I wanted Spurs to win, says Mark. As an Arsenal fan, I'm not upset that you lost. Remember, once a bottle job, always a bottle job. You can't go 2 0 up and still lose in the end. Keep it up, though. And said, keep it up. People only support Spurs because someone in their life supports Arsenal. Thoughts on the Spurs fan? GJ. Who's GJ? Thoughts on the Spurs fan celebrating a loss? GJ. Yeah, I don't know who that is. don't know who that is. GJ. Only GJ I know is Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, you're not talking about him. Wow, keep it moving. <laughs> <No> <laughs> Where are we? If Conte is an elite manager, how does he let Spurs buy players he doesn't want? These are some of the questions I'm asking, but, you know, we're failing to get to the bottom of it all. We still leave VR Enoch out. Rizwan says, United, Arsenal, Chelsea and City spending money to win leagues. What's Tottenham spending money for? To win the Carabao Cup. No excuse. I assume you meant City there at the end. Why are you all colluding in the lie that Spurs are a big club? As the song goes, they'll always be shit. Yeah, true. <laughs> where, where were all these excuses from Tobes and Matisse for a novice Arteta? Conte should be doing better with what he has. Quote, world class again. Yeah, you get... need to pam you, you need to pam these two on that because they 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 how can Turkish do that when he wanted the manager out? Can we have some shame? Do what? Do what? Huh? Do Let's what? let what you yeah, he's gonna be a complete hypocrite if do he what? does that, Chris. So don't, don't don't try and line him up for this. The only person that can come with real chest on this panel about Arteta is Big Steve, and that's it. Do you Simple think you, do you everybody know, else? Everybody else is on this. This is my bad. This is my bad. I have a tease. Do you think Arsenal you. and Tottenham are the same? No, but he's talking about Chelsea as well. He said Tobes and Matt. So I'm sticking up for myself. I don't want to hear man. I don't want to hear this nonsense. The club just passed his teen years, fam. You're 20 years old. Huh? Your club's just barely... Who, my, my club? Yeah, your club is about 20 years old, fam. So, does so your last, does, hold on a second. Does your last 20 years not count since you won the Premier no, League? Well, we're, we're in our... Why does it count? Because you won some FA Cups? Because my team won some FA Cups before the Roman Abramovic year as well. We so, if, so, if my so if my time don't count before 2004, your time don't count. Your team has been extinct since since you won the league last. And when was the last time you were in the Champions League? Extinct. Are we extinct now? Arteta was kicking ball when you was in the Champions League. Are we extinct now? 
He was literally kicking ball. How oh, much extinct? Your now. manager, mm. your manager was kicking mm. ball last time he was in the Premier League. In Matisse, Champions League. Are we extinct now? Until mm. you do something, you're still extinct. Until we do something. Have you done something yet? Has something happened? Oh, you see us doing things, bro. Has something you happened? Nothing's happened, bro. Things. Are you are counting you your chickens before things? they roost? Are you are you are you gonna win the league? Are you gonna win the oh, league? Turkey? If I said hey, 12 months ago, if I said to you in 12 months, you're gonna be sitting on a Man City Tottenham watch along. Cheering for Manchester City. Are you? Oh. Are you gonna win the league? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm giving you a scenario here. I'm giving you a scenario. I told you. Ask me about the league February 16th. How many times can I? Tell then, you? then there was this conversation. How many There's times can I tell say. you that? I'm There's just. I'm just. I'm shocked to see my brother. In this <laughs> You know, I'm shocked to see I'm just him. supporting my oil brother. I'm just supporting my big Steve and my and my dad's and my huge. You know what I'm saying? Steve, you want that support? I really want them to do well. How did Todd Bowley? How did Todd Bowley get his billions? Because it wasn't oil, is it? Hey, listen, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's yeah, happening, man? You gotta leave the oil brother. Support a different club. It's all mad right now. That's history. Um, let's let's finish off the super chat. <laughs> Yo, Turkish, my guy, I just want to say that I really love the big six and what you do, man. Um, all I want is for Arsenal to win everything, but we need to be humble, and you've given us Arsenal fans a voice. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be humble. It's hard to be humble when you've got Chelsea fans fucking intent cheering for Man City, but, you know, sometimes you've got to mention it and put them back in their place and remind them that shit club, no history. Turkish has been quiet for two decades, and now he's talking. This is mad. <laughs> You've been quiet for two decades. I've been watching you on AFTV before I was even a content creator. I saw you in the dumps at, in Germany, Bayern Munich, eight two. Bro, two decades ago, you was in nursing. You, fam. you that's was in what I'm saying. Exactly, ago. exactly. I, I've never seen you with chest before in my life. This is ridiculous. Get used to it, Mikel Arteta's you Red Army. You hear it, Mikel oh, Arteta's yeah. Red Army, fam. We're, 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 we're all riding together. Um, but yeah, let me just get the last few in. It's oh, mad man. in the dunya, man. It's mad in the dunya. Crazy, isn't it? This is your fault, Saeed, by the way. We'll get on to that. Listen, anyway. man, don't blame us, mate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I said don't blame us. That sounds like a man that does not give a shit. <laughs> yeah, we, we out here, we out here. 62 years and still nothing. Spurs should just turn their stadium into a national failure museum. At least this way, they'll educate future, future generations. <laughs> national failure museum. Ibi, Steve. For me, Zinchenko has been our most important signing. He's so important to us, the perfect fit. When did you start seeing the potential in him? Yeah, well, the, the, when the war was on in the Ukraine, Shakhtar, he, was, he didn't have a club, so we, we picked him up for like a mil. He went to PSV on loan, he didn't cut it there, they sent him back. He was a centre mid, like a 10. Um, and then Pep just came up with this idea of him at left back. It wasn't always smooth. He got he got targeted a few times, people putting balls on his heads. And um, some City fans wanted him out of there because he was a liability. But do you know what? Fair play to the kid. His mentality, he stuck it out. We agreed a fee with Wolves to sell him there for eight mil. Uh, he didn't want to go. Said he wanted to stay at City and fight it out. He stood at City, won the titles, turned into a fantastic player. Captain of Ukraine, I think he is now. So everything Zinchenko has done, he's done himself by wanting it. And um, listen... With that mentality, he can only go to the top. And look at him now, you know what I mean? At Arsenal, how important he is. Zinchenko, one million from Ukraine. Who'd have thought it? So, good luck to him for me. Yeah, solid. Ali said yeah, I, watched him, I watched him in Ukraine as well, Zinchenko. <laughs> 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 if you see Tosin looking a bit different and not watching the Arsenal games with the same passion, call the feds. Toby's killed him and he's pretending to just save the face. <laughs> Big up Tosin, he's doing his thing on DR Sports as well. And he'll be in and out of the big six, big six extra throughout the next few years. It's, you know, it's, as long as he continues doing content. Um, so big him up. Guys, we have to respect Spurs, says Ryan. Arsenal, United, Chelsea, Liverpool and City haven't got Audi Cups in their cabinet, unfortunately. Top show. Mm. Yeah, it's eluding, it's eluding all of us. Matisse with chest like Arsenal don't have 48 trophies to Chelsea's 31. We have more league titles than all London teams. Are you, are you guys counting the community shorts again? The Kings are, are we back. Gonna, are we going to get serious? <laughs> See? This is what I'm talking about. It's shameless, man. Let's let's scrap the community shorts and let's be serious now. Come on. You don't need those. You guys are a big club. You don't need to count those little them little shields, that, them little plaques. So what's, the score? what's the score without them? Well, obviously, they're still winning. That's what I'm saying. Don't be shameless. Just talk about the proper major trophies. We don't need to add shields. 
<laughs> what is this? I thought, what, what, I what, where is this some sort of I Marvel you... film talking about shields? This is crazy. And for all the disrespect, we have two Champions Leagues. So you need to have some sort of grace and decorum. Seriously. Europa Leagues. Shit that you don't have. Shit that you would cry for. I would see tears coming out of Turkish's yeah. eyes. The if, Champions, you touch, if, you, if you touch the Champions League, there will be tears coming out of your eyes, bro. So you can drink tears in the can, but there will be tears coming out of your eyes if you have ever okay, seen I, what I saw. You would cry about it. So you, to, you lot in the chat need to calm down. Uh, should, I be honest, should I be honest about the Champions League thing? It's big for you. Don't get me wrong. It's big. I want to win Champions League, but I don't want to win it in sixth or in fourth. I want to win it when no, we're it actually in competition no, stop, stop, to be stop, the best team in England. How can stop. you be How okay. can you be champions of Europe and be fourth in your league or sixth in your league? Stop, or in your league? Stop. Stop. stop it. Stop it. No, no, just please stop, stop it. it. Stop. 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 I'm not with you there, Turkish. Stop. You win it, you win it. You don't need to be with it. Don't worry, me and you are going to talk soon, Saeed. Me and you are going to talk soon. No, no, I'm going to tell you, I have to interject because that's that's wild, man. That's wild. You win it, you win it. doesn't matter what you mean, fourth and fifth. You win it, you win it, brother. I mean, it's like it's like it's like Porto when they won. It's like Porto winning the Champions League. No, what, no, what no, you had a hell of it. I have to copy no, the this is that really Come on, man. No, it's history. <laughs> you are known this is for worse being than your the champions of Europe. Europe. Bro, it's no, history. I tell you what, you know, you see United's Champions League when you won the treble. No, yeah. Don't try it. Do you think you can compare that Champions League to when Di Matteo won Champions League for Chelsea? I'm just asking you a question. Do you think that I Champions League means is the same that... level? Oh. I know what you mean, but it's still a Champions League. It's still something. That you've Jeez. won, you know what I mean. Whether you're fourth or fifth, wherever you are in the league, you st you're champions of Europe. It's a massive thing. Like City would trade. I'm sure City would trade. You are a shameless man. You are shameless man. How? How? How can that make sense? You are shameless. How that makes sense. <laughs> you no, are no, shameless no. man. I'm not even gonna. Re I don't need to. I don't need to respond to this. I just need you, you got, to know you, your you shit. You got to at least challenge for your domestic league and win Champions League. For me to rate it, this is my opinion. For me, yeah, to yeah that's rate your opinion. Champions yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, at least so if challenge Arsenal, so if league. Arsenal finished seventh and they won the Champions League, you would you would put an asterisk next to it because you don't rate it because no, you. Didn't I, I, I'd like it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't write home. Like about it. it. You would I, love I, it. I wouldn't write home about it. You, you would. Know, yes, you would. You would. What it is. More than you can believe, Turkish. You would. Uh, trust me. Trust me. But again, because you haven't felt it. You can't really relate. This is what my point always is. If exactly. you haven't won the Champions League, you can't talk about it. You don't understand the emotion behind it. You don't understand the ecstasy. So half of this panel know what it is and half of the panel don't. And that's that's as simple as it gets. When Liverpool won it, they weren't the best team in the country. Grizz is not going to give two shits because he knows what the feeling is. He knows okay. what the emotion is, what, what it ask, means. I'll ask Grizz. I'll, I'll ask Grizz. Grizz, you've won a few Champions Leagues in your lifetime. That's right. Don't you rate the one, well, it's your opinion. Which ones do you rate higher? The one where you finished behind Everton in the league or the one where you was actually... <laughs> yeah, this top... guy, look at the way he's, look at the way he's asking the question. <laughs> look at the way he's asking the question. No, look, look at the way he's asking the question. Nah, this is mad. <laughs> oh, I'm just, uh, or the one where you was one of the two best teams in England by a country mile. Mm. Which one do you think holds more crap? This is ridiculous. Mm. Now, I know what you mean. Like, same like Saeed. I'm going to give Saeed's answer. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so shameless. I know what you mean. But no, nah, I know what you mean. Ah, right, cool. Let's do predictions. I'm just going to leave it at that, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got an answer. <laughs> you have to give an answer. You just ask you a question, Bro, man. I'm not going to lie, yeah. Bro, sometimes, no, I, worst, I know what he means. Some, I know what he means. Sometimes, yeah, the worse you are, the sweeter it is. Someone said it in the chat because when your season has nothing else, there's nothing else in your season. You're not challenging the multiple fronts. This is do or die. And you know you're not the best team, but you've somehow managed to some in one occasion, the other one we fully deserve, but one occasion shit house your win. Do you know how good a shit house feels when you win a game that you don't really feel like you deserve, or you feel like you've kind of had to ride your luck, or you've had to make big saves or big penalty saves, or you've had to score a last minute winner? There's all been games where we've got last minute winners and we were like, we didn't deserve that. If you're at that game, you are even more happy. You're you're giving it to the away, you're giving it to the home fans if you're away from home. You're you're extra, extra much of a prick um, for the rest of the week. Because you know you didn't really deserve it, but you just love being the villain. And that's what a Champions League win gives you when you haven't played at your best. You're the villain. Everybody hates you. Oh, they didn't deserve it. Cool. I don't want you to come and give me my, my, my credit. Actually, actually hate me for this win. Hate me for not deserving it. It makes me feel better. So you could take it either way, man. Take it either way. You're right. I mean, you, you're champions. Nobody can talk to you about that, but you can't 
call yourselves the best team. Why in is Europe another team? man talking but about not, this again? You know, You've I'm, never I'm, won it. That's fine. 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 That's has Turkish has a point it's because the bench you just said it. Class, you just said it. It's cup competition. Cup competition doesn't mean you're the best. You're, you're the best team um, available. It means that you've done enough to win at that specific point in time. So, like you, when you won the Champions League in 2020, or whatever it was, yeah, you won the Champions League, but you were nowhere near the best team. I don't care. That's the thing. And Nobody that's cares. fine. That's fine. You don't have to care. But what I'm saying why, you, why should I care? Why should I give it down? Yeah, you don't have to care, but you can't dismiss what Turkish is saying. But what Turkish is saying is waffle, because trophies... It's not waffle. It, you, you're there to win trophies, I'm sorry. You're right, you're, you're right. not always going to be the said, best. You're not always going to be the best. The game is about the glory. You. The game Atis. is about glory. Not every trophy you win, you have to Atis. be the best Relax. team. You pick up the trophies and you walk on. Relax, Manchester brother. City, Manchester City were 2 down. Relax, buddy. Hold on, I'm talking to Steve now. Someone that actually knows what they're talking about in terms of trophies, Toby, so calm down. Steve, last season, 2-0, down to Aston Villa. Right, you didn't deserve in that ma- in that moment to maybe win that game, but you came back. You didn't just des- you, you weren't you weren't the ba- the best team for the full ninety minutes. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Steve, because you got the oh. you got the title. What you got to understand is Matisse. Have you ever won a Costa del Sol trophy in nineteen eighty two? You don't know what that feels like, mate. Imagine going on the piss. Imagine going on the piss in nineteen eighty two in the Costa del Sol with the Spurs fans, mate. That was well, he, so I'm shocked by Steve. To Where did that Steve come out? Steve was in this position. Steve was in this position. And now he's doing this. <laughs> Never forget where you came from, Steve, man. Hey, guys, today, I'm sorry. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, give away. <laughs> I'm disappointed in Steve. I'm, I'm disappointed in Steve. <laughs> Oh, anyway, let's do the oh, conditions now. Because I think everyone's spraying, yeah, everyone's spraying everywhere. <laughs> Louis says Chelsea got nine European titles whilst Arsenal have won. Who's the bigger club? Okay. Huh? What? I wasn't even listening. What did you say? Wait, no, I, I'm not talking to just you. I'm talking to you and the, the thousands of Chelsea fans around. Who's the bigger club, Arsenal or Chelsea? Thousands, Arsenal, you know. Chelsea. Thousands. No. <laughs> How many thousands? Probably Chelsea, you know. You know? Yeah, in, in recent times, the gap has closed. I get that. But really, as a no, fan... No, in team, recent times, they've been a bigger side than Arsenal. Let's just call it spade a spade. Well, off the pitch, you're talking about, yeah. But in terms of fan bases, who's the bigger side across the world? Yeah, but you just said, who cares about mm. fan bases? We're talking about what you're doing on the pitch. Now we're talking no, about no, fan no. bases. Talking about huh? he's, they're saying they've got nine European titles to our one. Yeah. But the I'm fact of the matter is, how many league titles do they have? How many league titles? What makes us the third biggest team in this country? I'm not involved. What makes what makes us? Because we haven't got any European titles. What makes us the third biggest team in this country? Where I do you where do you rank in Europe? I don't think, do I don't think you, you can say clearly that you're the third biggest team in the country. Oh, where, no. where where do you rank in Europe? Go on. Where do you rank in Europe if you have no European pedigree? What do you mean Europe? What, what do you so mean you're the you biggest. So you're the third biggest team in England. Where do you rank in Europe for the we biggest more, clubs? We got we got more European fans than you. No no no. I'm talking about trophies now. Like where do you rank? You haven't got a Europe. Well, we haven't got a Champions League. But what you, you, don't have, you don't have a Europa League either. Oh, so where do you rank? So where do you rank? Is it not comfortable conversation? You, you just made the argument that you are the third biggest team in England because you got the third amount, amount of trophies in this country. So now mm. I'm going to ask you, we're not talking about fans because not no, no, the Forest no, have loads of fans. Me. Leeds what, have loads of fans. So I'm going to ask you, where do you rank in Europe? The first thing I said is we've got more fans across the world than you. And then I related it. I Hold on. I related it to the point that we're the third biggest in England because of league titles, domestic league titles. Hence why I put down your Champions League and I can't compare it to a United Champions League or a Liverpool Champions League because you was nowhere near the best in this country when you won it. But you haven't answered the question. That's answering the question, my bro. That's answering the question. <laughs> I'm That's sorry, it's an uncomfortable question. conversation. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. In the, in, the, in the near future, we'll see what happens to you now, anyway. Turkish machine <laughs> drug was bullet head that was on rescoring in the champion. <laughs> a champion is a champion. We don't care how, just win it. Fair enough. Obviously, a Chelsea fan's going to say that. But at the end of the day, it hasn't made you a bigger club than us. Two hey. Champions Leagues and you're not a bigger club than us. <laughs> Two Europa know. Leagues as well. I don't just know. Saying. I don't know. Two Europa Leagues as well. Add that to it and it still hasn't made you a Four bigger Four European club. and then we go to the Super Cups as well. Arsenal are the biggest club in London and third in England, but Chelsea certainly closing the gap. I agree with this from a Man City fan. 
I agree with this. Very neat. <laughs> European trophies over domestic trophies, um, says Louis. We all know what holds more weight. Look at the biggest clubs in the world and look at their European pedigree. I hope you're not comparing yourself to Real Madrid and them man there. He's just saying that Celtic got, like, even Celtic got a European trophy. So it's an interesting say, conversation. Maybe we should do another show on it. Yeah. In the main channel. He's just well, saying, not, like, not even just saying. Nottingham Shaq- Forest, got, Nottingham Forest got two as well, no? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, you got to give them their praise as well. Like, yeah. Okay. Are they bigger? In, <laughs> are they bigger in Europe as well? Then you, one hundred percent. Like a first, oh, they? More, than, <laughs> more than a couple of men here. <laughs> right. yeah, Matisse is hilarious, clinging onto his club, winning a trophy that they won't even be playing in for the next year. Says Andrew. You haven't been in it for eight years, brother. Eight or is it nine? Sorry, I don't even remember anymore. Lost count. Six, seven, but we talk about now, not the not not the past. <laughs> Ah, right, cool. That's all the super chats. And listen, we're an hour, 10 minutes in. There's 9.5k here. First things first, hit the like button and then follow up the man. Them. All of the channel links are in the description below. Steve, Saeed, Grizz, Tov, Matisse, Skull, Fuggery, and the official channel. Me and Cam recorded the Arsenal United all-time combined 11 today. That's going to come out at some point tomorrow on the official channel. Obviously, everyone's doing combined 11 heading into this game. So we didn't want to do a combined 11 with the squads we have this season. So we thought to ourselves, let's do it all time combined 11. So look out for that tomorrow. Um, And that's something that's going to be a regular on the channel moving forward as well. So make sure you're subscribed to the official channel. Um, And we move prediction time. Fulham, Tottenham. Let's start with that one. Um, Monday night fixture. Tobes. This is Uh, 2-2. 2-2. Matisse? <laughs> I'm just seeing some of these super chats talking about what happened before the 1930s. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, trust Yo, me. Yo, trust me. I, I've, I've had a conversation about, about this with Ty. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. It's, it's not a joke. I seen you that day and you was traumatised by it. <laughs> Oh, this is yeah. not a job. That's why I say I all this time. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure, guys. <laughs> Herbert nice. Chapman was mentioned more than you can believe. <laughs> more than you can believe. He's kind of dragging up shit from the 1930s, man. Um, all right, sorry. Um, I'm going to go like 3 1. Oh, sorry, our clubs have got it. Got- <laughs> sorry about that, man. <laughs> sorry, what man. Can what can I'm we do? Sorry, sorry. man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what did you say? 3 3, three, three one for them. 3 1 for them. Right. Oh, three one Fulham. Yeah, man. Is it at Fulham? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Fulham. It's long. Surely it's Tottenham have to bounce back now, man. Enough is enough, man. Fuck you know. I'm going. Fulham are on a roll, though. I'm going one one. Um, Hugh has predicted two one Tottenham. Steve, what do you think? I'd probably say 2-1 Fulham. 2-1 Fulham. Let me note that down as well. Is Mitrovic back? I know he was injured or suspended. No, he's injured. The Man United game. Injured. Mm. Is he injured? No, I don't never trust Saeed's info. <laughs> Yo, people in the chat. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll just tell you what you want. No, no. Um, prediction. Have you done yours, Steve? Yeah. 2-1 Fulham, yeah. 2-1. I don't know, man. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with two one Fulham. Two one Fulham as well. Yeah, two one Fulham. Grizz. I'm go two one Spurs. Two one Spurs. Two one Spurs. Not much change in the prediction league either because we all got one result right. But yeah, one point each. I'll bring up the tape at the end. Um. Back to Man City Wolves. Hughes predicted 3 1 Man City. Steve? 3 0, sir. 3 0. Said? 2 0, Man City. 2 0, Man City. Grizz? 3 0, City. 3 0. Tobes? Who's Man City got? Wolves. I dare to add. Okay. Uh, 3 0. 3 0. Matisse. In fact, 2 0. 2 0. 2 0. Um, I'm going to go 
free free no city. Free no. I'm gonna go free one city. And that rounds off that prediction as well. A couple more on the subject. Most Arsenal trophies we've never seen. Quality beats quantity. Ah, what can I say? I don't know how old you are, but I don't know what you've seen and what you haven't seen. <laughs> not, so, not sure why football before 30s is getting frowned upon. It's history and tradition began late 1800s. Some clubs don't know about history and tradition. That's why we're here talking. I'm an Arsenal fan, but let's be real. Overall, Arsenal is a bigger club. Chelsea was saved by Russian blood money. Without that man, they weren't good. Or by maybe FC. We've got to win the Champions League, man. I don't like these conversations Matisse brings up. It's the only thing he's got left to cling on. It's the only thing he's got left to cling on. But yeah, we move. Uh, predictions done. Let's move into the big ones this weekend. And might as well start with Saeed. I know you're the away team on Sunday, but you had dropped points against Palace on Wednesday. Casemiro, yellow card. It wasn't a great. It wasn't a great ending in the match. Quality, at least a free kick. But yeah, yeah, everything that could go wrong in the final fifteen minutes went wrong. Yeah, that was um, a kind of a killer, man. Killer blow. Man. Um, the goal, first and foremost, Elise, daft, daft tackle by Shaw. Um, and Elise just does one in a million free kick. Like the way he kind of bend it in, hit the crossbar. Like he's never gonna, he's never gonna hit a sweeter free kick in his life. Um, so that one was that one. And then the Casemiro yellow card, like the most daftest yellow card ever. Like he didn't need to do it. You know what I mean? Um, I think there was defenders behind him, but that's Casemiro. You know what I mean? You wouldn't expect anything from him. Sorry? Should've well, there you go. Red. It could have been red. Yeah, there you go. And it could have been red. It could have been anything. It was reckless. Um, he actually gave the ball away and then gave it to Bruno. Bruno lost it. And then he was just out of position, dragged it, and honestly, just absolutely hacked him. So, yeah, man, I think for me, um, we weren't at it second half. We just, we just didn't look at it, man. I don't know what it was. Rashford had a stinker. Um, our front line... Wasn't giving, you know what I mean? Midfield, we kind of lost control. And they just grew into the game. It was a weird game because we, we kind of dominated the first half. Had the better chances. We're in control. We're dictating. And then second half, I don't know what happened. I think Ten Hag will have to learn the league that, listen, it's a game of 90 minutes and you need to you need to have something planned or, or the substitution weren't right. And I think that game was just one of them where you dust yourselves off. It's a draw. It's not a loss. So it's not killed every momentum. But we go in, man. It's a big game, and I'm not gonna lie to you, man. There's a lot of Arsenal fans overconfident. I know it's one player, I get it, but it's as if Arsenal have like they're gonna win three or four nil. Like you need to respect Man United and Arteta and sorry and, and Ten Hag. Like we're not gonna be rolled over just like that. You know, this season, if you look at the top six, we've done well apart from Man City. So this idea that yes, it's a big player, but. The fact that I'm hearing that, you know, three or four deal, like, chill the heck out, mate. You know? Like, how much is that but how much has that suspension kind of dampened your belief that you're gonna get the win there? Because obviously up until we spoke before that game and you were mm. quite confident about the upcoming game. Has that has that suspension dimmed that confidence? Do you still think you're gonna get the win? Or is it it's dimmed it's dimmed probably the win, but as a as a as a as a, as a spectacle as what I believe in Ten Hag, no, because He's done it in the top six game. He's actually come with a plan. We're tough to beat. You're looking at Man City. They, they, they're they going to probably do similar to what Arsenal are doing. Okay, Arsenal have better intensity and the fullbacks invert better and they're a bit more fluid. But the game plan is still going to be the same in terms of Bruno Fernandes on the right, um, Marcus Rashford on the left. We, 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 we close down the spaces. We're very compact. We don't concede many goals. It's, it's a different unit now. Man United are built different. I've been saying it all season. Now, there's not kind of like soft underbelly. I know that Manchester Derby was a big blip and they absolutely hammered us that day. But since then, he's galvanised the team. Varane's been a leader there. Shaw is playing out the form of his life. We've got Rashford. We have got danger, man. Again, I'm respecting Arsenal fully. They're top of the league. They're playing well. They've been unbeaten at home. Yes, they've got Partey. But I, I have this firm belief that our te sorry, Ten Hag has a plan. And he will nullify. Same way Newcastle nullified you lot. They stay compact. Same way Leeds had a plan. There are certain teams. And I think for me, Ten Hag, if you look at Pep Guardiola, Ten Hag and Arteta, I think for me, they're top three tacticians in the league in terms of this season. They're proving it to say, you know what? We're the most compact. You look at everyone else and they're looking a bit disorientated. So yes, one player, Casemiro, world-class, is unbelievable. But I still think that we won't budge over and we won't kind of like bend over for Arsenal, let them have it all. 
We'll still have the same tactics. We'll still play the same way. Okay, it's different and it's one component that's missing, but I still think part of his philosophy will still be there. And I think we will be difficult. So you've got to watch out for when Zinchenko comes out and he gets into them spaces. You will leave positions behind him. Rashford is in form, you know, and, and, and Bruno Fernandes. And, and like I said, we'll see what Veghorst can do because I don't think Martial is going to be fit. So we'll have our own danger, man. We'll have our own kind of plan and what we're trying to do. So it's going to be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a very, very tactical game. So it's going to I be... Think part, I think part of the confidence boost for Arsenal fans as well, listen, it's Casemiro being suspended. Obviously, he Man United's team quite a bit in comparison to having him on the pitch. But did you see Bruno's reaction? He was nearly crying when it happened. Did you see Ten Hag's reaction when he was talking about it? I know he said, you know, we beat Arsenal without Casemiro. But you could see that. When he got the yellow card and Ten Hag and he zoomed into his face and he's just there, just mm. you can no, see no, he is, because, yeah, that. absolutely. But this is what we, you know, this is what Ten Hag's paid for. Like you're gonna have these moments in the season. Now you need to get a tune out of whoever's coming in. This is what he's paid for. And these players who are on the bench, like the McTominay and Fred, Fred, who was unbelievable in that derby, you know, what I mean, at Man City and nullified De Bruyne. These guys have to step up. But he stepped up against you lot in the start of the season. Okay, party wasn't there. And okay, you know what I mean? You weren't the same team, but you're still on this unbeaten run. You still were flying when you started the season and we found a way. So anything's possible. I just think for me, it's not going to be as what Arsenal fans are saying now. You're just going to wipe us down the floor. I think it'll still be a competitive game. I really, really do. What are you laughing at, Steve? I think I, I, think I know. What's it laughing at? Bollocks. You said the title race for three days, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You, you, and you, you and your mate, you and your mate were crying. You and your mate were crying in the stands, yeah, crying in the stands. Nobody Trafford was crying in the stands. He was. Your mate was crying. Your, I don't know what he's called. Kaz. He was crying in the Kaz, stands. Yeah, yeah. You had yeah. the tissues out. You went to Crystal <laughs> Palace, got humbled. The title race what is over. It's a draw. What do you mean humbled? Manchester's still red though. It's a draw. We're, not, we're undefeated. We're undefeated hey. eleven. I don't understand the crisis. We're undefeated eleven. Explain to me how Manchester's red though. What do you mean? Because we won that derby game. Man, you, right, know, so you got oh, three man. points. You got three points, but Manchester's so, red. So now you're changing, the now you're changing the tune then. How can they win four Manchester out win. of the last five titles? Exactly. And Manchester's 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 like, bro, where's, where's the pride, bro? Where's the real pride? Where's your pride? I'll make it broad It's shameless talk. It's something that fans have with each other. It's just part of social media. It's part of fan culture. Okay, you know, but I, I, want you, I want you to be better. I want you yeah. to be better than that. I want you to have Yeah, but it's not. But I'll, I won't change. Listen, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 do you want me to come in and give you a history lesson? We've got so many in Champions it. Leagues. You treble win. Do you, want you tra- Do you want another history lesson? Do you want Go another on, then. history lesson? Go on, then. I can keep going all day. Go on, then. You weren't even born when you won half of them, you What are you talking about? What's your purpose of you coming here? Oh, your Manchester's red, but... No, I'm just proving the point. United are back, you said. We're in the present, We're in the present. United are back, you said, and Manchester is red. You drew to the Palace. That's all I now said. Now you have the title race after three days. Who's been when you're in the title race, you're there all season. You're mate. waffling. This Steve, is the worst City team waffling, in the last season. Is, is this your way of getting you in the league? Is this your way of rattling me? Is this your way of rattling me? You're above, I rattle you easy, mate. I don't even have to. I don't even have to. What's going on here? Because this is poor. You yourself. This is the only thing me. that got rattled was your next six times. What's going on? Yeah. You've been blocking you everyone on social points. media. You won three you went points. Hiding. You didn't want to pick up your you calls. How many times have you won? Holiday, I'm here now. All of a I'm sudden, he's found his, his, his voice. You found your voice now, Steve. Bring it. Last Bring week, it. nobody could hear you. I'm you blocked everyone Bring on social it. media. I'm Nobody could hear you, but now all of a sudden... You was crying. I didn't want to upset you. You was crying. You and your mate, I didn't want to upset you. Chill out, mate. Chill out, man. Are you in the title race? Are you in the title race? Are you in the title no, race? We're not in the title race. No. You said I United was back. I thought you were testing the waters. Listen, listen. United is playing well. I get it. You want to... This, this little stuff where I get it. But United are playing well. We're undefeated. What's this all? this humble. This and that. Because you were testing draw. the Can waters. I'm just you lot drew, still you testing lot the waters. To, uh, Everton. You lot drew to Everton. Said everyone stop com- set panicking and all that. It can happen. This is football. So everyone just relax. It was a little bit of a setback. And we move to Arsenal. Simple as that. You know so, what I mean? So you're not. You're, so we, just, we, I just want to check. You're no longer. You're no longer testing the waters. 
Listen, Why should we relax? Listen, that was a little bit of a, a cheeky joke. And that, everyone knows this season the aim was top four, get in the top four, win a trophy, uh, get better football. That was the aim this season, and anything else is a bonus. So, okay, but can I ask you what we're doing? Sorry? Can I ask a question? Why can why can you get carried away and say some of the stuff that you say? And then when it doesn't come to fruition, we mm. should just chill out. I hear no, that. no, I, I do I'm exactly. talking about the fact that you exactly. said we're in the title race. We're not in the title race. Arsenal, well, you're testing out the waters, no? <laughs> we're just having fun, man. We're just enjoying ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, and so are we. We're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> our kid, we're having fun, our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're having our fun. Ten Hag's doing his thing. And that's all it is, man. You know what I mean? We move to Arsenal. But Arsenal need to right. come in with the, with the energy. You're going to win, yeah? Bad. I, don't, I personally don't think we're going to win against Arsenal. Uh, that's just my own opinion. You have to respect what Arsenal are doing. <laughs> what? What's changed? Oh my God. What's changed? No, but because Arsenal are at home, they're at home, they're on the, uh, what do you call it, at the Emirates. And I you weren't talking like this last week. It's going to be a big step. Sorry? You weren't talking like this on Monday, brother. <laughs> no, but obviously things have changed. Oh, Casemiro has been a big effect. Casemiro is a big effect. Ah, you know what I mean? So I, see, I just I think for me, okay, the okay. impact okay. of that and Arsenal, mm. you have to respect them. This is me coming from... Uh, <laughs> where was this respect on Monday? They're, they're Premier League leaders. <laughs> where was this respect on Monday? Casemiro is a humbler. He's a humbler. I think, is a humbler. I think I Ten Hag like needs him. to try. Uh, I mean, I think Ten Hag's going to try Martinez in that role to, to stop. No, 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 no. For me, he can't do that. Do it. For me, he can't do that. Why not? No, no, no. Because because that's a sort of sub that you kind of sort out maybe in preseason. You need to have a okay. few games with that. I think he'll just pack the midfield. Ericsson, McCominay, and, and Fred, and, 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 and Fred, and try to pack the midfield out. That's what I, that's what he's gonna do for me. Okay. Who's doing um, who's doing left back? Malaysia or short? No, nah, I think it'll be Luke Shaw. I think it'll be Luke Shaw and then Lissandra Martinez and uh, Varan. And then obviously Juan Bissaka, who's been incredible. So yeah, I think it'll be that that kind of midfield. I think we'll just kind of pack the midfield because Arsenal for me, if they if they get control of that midfield, it's game over. It's absolutely game over. Because they've just been unbelievable. Odegaard, Partey, and Jaco as a free has been unbelievable. No, we should control the midfield. I think that, look, you started it by saying, I don't know why Arsenal fans are so confident after the Casemiro suspension, but you also added that your confidence has dwindled since that. So it kind of works. Kind no, of no, 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 I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But the, Facts, the kind of, what I'm hearing is a lot of kind of like, you're going to smash you lot and this and that in terms of, you know, one player being... But I also said that we're going to come with a game plan and Ten Hag this season has proven that in the top six games. He has proven that. So... You know, I just I didn't get the gas. That's all it was. I, th I think like a, I think a three nil three one isn't isn't an average. No, no, I've been three four nil. Like we're gonna hammer you. Like it was like it was a mad one. But I think for me, Arsenal, you have got to give them respect. They're the better team right now. You know, what I mean, they're playing better football. They're the league leaders, unbeaten at home. So that's why I'm kind of like a little bit my confidence is up as well as a Casemiro situation. So, and you've got to give them that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. On Arsenal side, I think. Listen, I think oh. it's, it, it, we should win the game. You look at how we've played this season. Every single game, bar the lead second half and the first half an hour in the United game, because the first half an hour at Old Trafford, we was the, the United were the better team. Up until Martinelli scored that goal that was ruled out for offside, that was kind of our kickstart in the game to get back into it. And from there, we was, in my opinion, by far the better team. But that's where Ten Hag and, and United picked us off, especially in the middle of the park. I, it's not all about Thomas Partey being missing because I don't like to say, you know, I don't like to put it all on that. Obviously, it's a massive upgrade on, on, on the Conga. But now this time, Ryan Casemiro is missing. And I feel like if you look at Fred and the job he done on De Bruyne last week, mm. great job. Obviously, De Bruyne broke free that one time. He got the assist. And, and to guess it was a couple of times, but he got the assist for that Grealish goal. I assume that's going to be your tactic against Odegaard. But I'm looking at Saka and Martinelli to be the catalyst for the win against United. Obviously, Odegaard stepped it up in the big games too um, since being questioned about it. But I think we will control the midfield. But I, I really think it all comes down to Ten Hag and what he wants out of the game as well. Is, 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 do you think Ten Hag's coming for three points or do you think a point for him is sufficient? I think I, I think he'd take a point, 100%. I think he'd take a point um, because he knows the magnitude of the game. He knows, you know, it's about keeping momentum. He knows Arsenal and he would respect Arsenal. It's as simple as that. He, he don't look at it as, you know, a, a kind of go there and, and go for the all three points. I think he will respect the opponent. He knows that Casemiro is a big blow. 
But at the same time, he'll try and find a way of, of, of kind of getting in behind Arsenal. You know what I mean? Because you might be naive to bring out the fullbacks and, and, and leave spaces in behind. Rashford can exploit. But I do think he'll respect Arsenal fully, like he has done with every top six game. And that's why he's been so prepared for them. You know what I mean? The way he's prepared for the top six games has been magnificent, barring the Man City game, where, you know, away from home, it was very, very poor. And you're saying Weghorst is starting the game, yeah, Martial? Yeah, Martial, I don't think he'll be ready, man. This, he's injured again, so, yeah. Wait, wait, did you just say the best team didn't win? Which game? The, the, sorry, we did, the game we didn't win was uh, Man City away, innit? Turkish, did you say that? About Old Trafford? Say that again, the best team didn't win. Yeah, Old Trafford. See, the Old thing Old. is, with that, with that game, yeah. we had a game plan and we stuck to it. Our, Arteta made a, a big mistake bringing on three substitutions at once. Mm. You can say Arteta lost the game in that moment, but also Arteta, sorry, Ten Hag pounced on that and, and, and made certain decisions and counter-attacked and there was certain transition in the game where he pounced on it and that's what he did and that's what you do as a coach. You nullify the team and you break on it. So you've got to give hats off to Ten Hag. Ten Hag? Well, we were the better team, but that's not that that's not dismissing Ten Hag's tactical approach in that game and, and the tactical changes he made. Uh, um, Saeed, Actually, right. the first goal as well. Remember the first goal? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable football. So. You're right with the three substitutions. The three substitutions oh. kind of not killed us, but what it did, it, 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 definitely, didn't, it definitely didn't help us. Um, it kind of dampened the fire a little bit because at that point it looked like we could go on and get a goal, maybe two. But once those three subs were made, it just felt like a bit of naivety. But at the end of the day, what Mikel has shown over the years is he he learns quite fast. Yeah, some might laugh at that because it's been three years, but he learns quite fast to the point where he's taken a team from the mud to top of the league halfway through this season. So I'm hoping he's learned off that as well because we was controlling that game. We was in the ascendancy and the three subs didn't really... Didn't really need to be made, but obviously when you're chasing that and you want to look at the bench, but then you look against Newcastle, nil-nil, he didn't make any subs. Uh, he, he wasn't proactive with the subs because he doesn't feel like he had enough on the bench. This time we've got Trossard. I read just before the big six, he's been registered in time and, you know, he's ready to go. So I assume he'll be on the bench and at least we've got someone on the bench that can be a goal for it. Because as much as we've got Vieira, as much as we've got um, Tierney, who in my opinion can add to the attack, None of, the, none of those players are exciting in terms of coming on and trying to seek a goal. Trossard is. I'm not looking at the bench to help us on Sunday because I think we should get the job done, 11 on 11. Um, and I think we will get the job done. I honestly think we will get the job done. Am I overconfident about it? Yes, I probably am. Um, but don't get it twisted. I think what Ten Hag has shown, Saeed's right, Ten Hag's shown tactical nous. He, he's shown enough tactical nous across the season to make it a difficult game and give us something to worry about. The first 10, 15 minutes will set the tone. I think we'll come out, we'll dominate, we'll have a few chances and it depends on whether we bury those chances or not. I look at Eddie, who had a good game against Tottenham but missed some key chances. Well, I say key in hindsight, they want that key, we still won the game. But he's going to get a couple of chances in this game as well and I want him to bury them chances at least one of those chances. I think an early chance will come to an Eddie Nketa, in my opinion. And if he buries it, if Osaka buries it, Martinelli buries it, then we go on and win the game comfortably. But if you man hold out for 20, 25 minutes, that's when maybe the questions start being asked in our own heads on the pitch. So I'm looking for a fast start from Arsenal. We're home. And Manchester City will probably be two points behind us going into that game. And... As much as people might say, yeah, but then the nerves might kick in. A few months ago, I probably would have agreed. But we've shown enough over this season now that we've kind of used those moments. Whether a rival loses, we'll go on and get our job done. Whether a rival wins, we'll go and get our job done. We're kind of eliminating all the noise and doing what we need to do. But that's why I think we will win the game. I do think we'll win it comfortably in the end. It might not be the margins that you're here inside in terms of fours and fives, but I think we'll I think we'll we'll score a few goals in the game. I think we've got enough to open United up. I know United defensively since the World Cup break have been a different beast. What we what you conceded that one goal to City, which was the Jack mm. Grealish, and you conceded the Olise free kick, which listen, there's yeah. nothing anyone can really do about that. But I think this one's this one will this one's probably listen. Everyone's talking about tests for Arsenal all the time. I think this one's a true test for United defensively yeah, now. Definitely. 
Because if you can nullify our attack and the way we've been moving in recent times, then then yeah, problems. I, I think definitely it's going to be a close game. All of this trash talking about one team's going to thrash the other team, it's not. They, they look, they do, both teams, we know they've improved so much. We, we can see that on the pitch as well. I just think, I just think Man United's right-hand side is just not strong enough going forward. Rashford, Shaw on this side, and even Bruno, I guess, sometimes drifts out there, is strong. But, you know, without Martial, I'm not sure if they've got, unless unless you guys tell me, I can't think of anyone else who's mm. quick enough to get in behind them. The big lad ain't quick enough. Mm, Anthony, yeah, Anthony, you already know, you know what I mean? He's just a cartoon, isn't it? Mm. Right. And then you've got Juan Bissaka, who's just not good going forward, but he's improved so much defensively and he's, you know, he struggles to get past the halfway line. I just think that that side, Zinchenko, Xhaka and Martinelli, that's where you're going to try to get your joy from. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to be intriguing because I think you're going to, I think you're going to risk overloading on that side because of the fact, Mart, um, what's his name? Juan Bissaka and Anthony are not very strong mm. on that right hand side. So I think that's where the game's going to be key. Mm. Is Sancho. Equally... Who? Sancho. Uh, sorry, no, 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 I don't think he'll be back. No, no, no. Yeah, I think he'll play Bruno Fernandes. Do what he did against uh, Man City. Yeah, I've got, right. feel, got a feeling he's going to play Bruno Fernandes on the right. Narrow midfield, yeah. narrow, compact. Just making sure that there's no spaces. Because like mm. I said, that's where Sinchenko will try and move into and then create overload. So yeah, he'll try to out. Zinchenko is one of the smartest footballers you'll find. And yeah. he's going to try to create, you know, like how um, Dali Blind played for for Holland, that national team. Just obviously no physical, like outstanding physical attributes, but always on the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Zinchenko has one of the highest touches of the ball in the game. That's how intelligent he has. He is. So I think it's going to be intriguing, though. I'm going to let you guys predict. Let's see the predictions now, because yeah. we're half an hour and a half and we've still got Liverpool, Chelsea. I'm going for a 3 1 Arsenal win straight in there. Let me just put that down. 3 1. Um, Hugh's gone for 2 1 Arsenal. Steve? Um, it's a tight one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'll just go with what I want. 1 0. 1 0. Hey, it feels good though. It actually feels good that Manchester City are in some way, shape, or form worried about Arsenal because that shows the levels. Listen, that the way can. Arsenal are playing, you know, if you're in the title race seriously at home, you, you need to be going at the this United team because they're playing well. You go at them, United. Mm. It, they, they could be playing well and they might be undefeated, but it all just looks false to me. Mm. It all just looks false. Everyone just gets excited, and then one minute they're going to win the league. They've signed Vegas, who's the best presser in fucking Europe, whatever that means. He must do a lot of ironing. And then um, oh, the next minute, they draw against Crystal Palace. And then it's like, oh, no, we're not going to win the league now. And I think we might get beat because Casemiro is all oh, bollocks, man. If you're in the title race, get your chest out and do it. Don't just <laughs> beat Man City, the team you don't care about, and then say Manchester is red and we're going to win the league <laughs> as if we're nothing. And then now you draw at Palace, you're not going to win the league and you might get beat. It's all false bullshit, man. Arsenal, the fans, at least are giving it the chest and having a do. If they're in the title race, they're in the title race. Ten Hag ain't no football genius. He's come in oh. and he's got a group of players playing oh. how they should be playing. End oh. the story. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Brutal. Just, hey. Brutal. So you've gone 1-1, one, one, yeah? Yeah. Brutal. Like I said, Hugh's gone 2-1 to Arsenal. And um, Laka, I've seen this question asked a few times. I don't know what to, Do you think I watched the the... the the Italian league spezzi are enough to know. <laughs> I don't know my man, if I'm honest with you, are. we're all gonna find that together. Obviously. Oh, um, I know him. I've watched uh, spezzi quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, Left sided centre back, very elegant on the ball. Yeah. Yes. What are you saying? What are you saying? Satin, satin system. Any league in the world, any time, any time. <laughs> That's the one. That's it. Yeah, satin system. That's it. But yeah, I can't tell you any. And, and the Camavinga links, I would not believe that. 100% I wouldn't believe that. It just doesn't make sense for Real Madrid to let go of one of their big signings from 18 months ago. Um, when you look at... They're, they're actually light in midfield already, yeah. in my honest opinion. So I don't think they'll be letting Camavinga go on loan, that's for sure. So yeah. that's my thoughts on that. Saeed? Um, I'm going to go for 2-2. Two, two. Um, I think it'll be a Desmond. 2-2. Two, two. What would you have said if Casemiro was playing? 2-1 United. Okay, okay. Um, Grizz. Fuck, 
Tough one. Uh, two one Arsenal. Two one Arsenal. Tobes. Three one Arsenal. Mm. Three one Arsenal. Matisse. Two no Arsenal. <laughs> Why are you saying that so? You know, <laughs> glum. Bro, I'm just saying that, man. What do you want from me? A little bit of a, a, little bit of a little. I don't know what you guys want. I'm just giving you the, the score, eh? Give me that European energy, innit? What's wrong with you? Hey, listen. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. We'll be, we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's all the predictions in. Um, there is some super chats. Let me see. Said still no bet. Last time I asked you about the game, you said you'll slap Arsenal. I'm here. You're getting smoked, bro. Have a nice. No, as you can see. He's predicted 2 2, so there is no bet to have. Um, why is Steve talking about four league titles when United are 13? 13 is more than four, Steve. I guess the blue side can't count so well. Old Trafford holds more than if you had two by about 70k every week. <laughs> Man City are the only professional team who play their home games in Manchester, so Manchester has to be blue. That's from MCFC Snooker. Yeah. You don't need to stop being celebration police. Manchester is red because we won the latest derby day. Four leagues in five. Our trophy cabinet puts your cute four in five to shame. Let us celebrate. Um, where are we? A colleague of mine has obtained over 1,300 FPL points and now claims to be a football man. If his logic is correct, what does that say about Grizz? Hold on, how many points? 1,300. 1,300. <laughs> He's checking his points. <laughs> Grizz is checking his FPL right now. Saeed, when was the last time you beat us at the Emirates in the league? We've been playing back fours of Kolasinac, Bellerin, Louise, Mustafi, and you still don't mm. win. You know, that's a good point, you know. Probably, I think, under Oli, I think it might have been. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. It's been a while. It's been a while. You know, since we won there, it's a tough ground for us to come. So, yeah, probably be, be when Oli was in charge, yeah? Maybe even before, because I, I can't remember, yeah. but you might be right. Ali says, only way we're losing is if Rashford's offside star refereeing repeats. We're going to smack you by at least a two-goal margin. Um, Three-day chest-type fakers. And another one from Ali here saying, agree, Turkish, the first 30 minutes will decide the game. Grizz, disagree, Martinelli will, Martinelli will struggle with Wan-Bissaka, but Saka's going to roast that United left like the next Mr. Turkey. I I, I don't think uh, Wan-Bissaka's, yeah, all right, we'll see. But I'd, I'd, it's, it's one Bissaka hype for me. What is it? A handful of good games, and then all of a sudden, he's, he's bro. He's come back, man. And he's just kind of a. I don't know what's going on, mate. He's just he's in crazy form. I can't lie. But again, like I said to you, you never know. Different tests now. You know, Martinelli, different test, man. Top of the league hype in it. So we'll see. Even, even McTerminator gets away with his evil tackles and kills our players. Are the refs watching closely this time? Ed says this Man United record versus top six isn't as impressive because they have been all at home. Let's see the reverse fixtures. Palace spanked them. Big up the man them. The only difference between Alanga and Anthony is a Brazilian passport. And nobody is talking about... Nobody's talking about it. He's whack. Hashtag fraud watch. And Ryan <laughs> says, Saeed, I respect what Ten Hag's doing at United and you look good now, but I genuinely believe we'll give you a footballing lesson. Arsenal 2, United nil. United haven't won at the Emirates since 2017. Yeah, my bad, yeah. 2017, yeah. What's that Jose time, isn't it? Jose, I think yeah. maybe Lingard yeah. when he danced moonwalk. Oh, yeah. 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 And um, even that game, they got hammered, man. United got hammered. Yeah, David De Gea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of his best performances for United. Sick. Um, Arsenal free United nil. Gingerbread man settings incoming for Saeed and the man you fans. The United fans are the ones crying about losing one player. Don't blame us, G. And one more, George says, I'm sorry, Saeed, but I respectfully disagree. If you guys play the same way you played against Palace, you'll get slapped on Sunday. There's actually mm. one more, sorry. Saeed had chest last week. Guna should have more chest. Look at the way we're playing. Can't blame us. Light work. 3-0. What does this last thing mean before you get me saying some mad thing in another language? No, I don't know that. Yeah, I'll leave that one out. Even though I trust you because you're a regular on the show, I don't know what you're saying there, my guy. I'll search it up. A big up you. Javier just got one in. I had a City fan. is on one. At this rate, his hair ain't coming back. Relax, my guy. Don't want the blood pressure too high. Anyways, no title race. Just one game at a time. Cam's hype. Cam's hype. Put that one finger away, man. I'm tired of this one game at a time thing. I'm actually tired of it. Um, put that to bed soon enough. All right, we move. Jesus. 
We end, we end with the mid classical or whatever people are calling it now. Ninth versus tenth. One of the biggest teams in, in Europe, in Chelsea, against one of the legit biggest teams in Europe, um, Liverpool. So, <laughs> how's it going to fare? How's it, who's home? Liverpool at home. Grizz, I'll give you the floor first. It's a disgusting feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Grace, it's a, Grace, it's let's, a not, proper... let's not take too much time here. Come on, man. This is <laughs> <laughs> this ain't nothing, bro. We already spoke about this game. Nah, on the yeah, I'm I'm just gonna very briefly just <laughs> give my feelings on the game, and then you don't do what you want with it. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> Check that picture. <laughs> this game used to be no word of a lie, because obviously, like the all fuck? the Chelsea fans, when I was at uni, Chelsea became relevant. Um, and then suddenly this rivalry became a lot. What year was you at you? I'm gonna say, <laughs> work it out. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> work, work it out, you fucker. You used but, to draw yeah. on slates, man. You used to draw on slates when you was at uni. <laughs> no, no, what, do they, what do they call it? Oh, what do they call dude. the students? What do they call the students that done it after the thing? There's a there was a word for it. mature student. I was a mature student. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was a mature student, <laughs> but, but but um. We have some fucking battle royals, yeah, battle royales, and um, I'm not gonna lie, there was games between us that I couldn't physically watch. That's how nervous and uptight I used to be. There used to be so much at stake, like the Champions League semi final. Do you remember the goal score? I was telling Matisse yeah, on my channel, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't watch it, lads. I didn't watch it live. I, I, I booked myself for a hotel room. Um, like there was no social media them days. Yeah, turned off my phone. I just waited for the final result, like waited for the time to elapse, and then find out the result. It was those were those were the days, nerve wracking. Mm. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is just nothing. nothing. Tomorrow, I'll we used to have Rafa shit. Benitez versus Mourinho pre-match press conferences, arguing ref like drama, Champions Mate, League tomorrow nights. Tomorrow has no excitement for me, no fucking passion, and it's mad. Like we're literally talking about Man United Arsenal. It's like ten years of just. Rewinded, we just re we just rewinded ten years. Man United, Arsenal. Suddenly, look at the way they're popping off with each other. We re rewinded relevant. twenty years. We've gone back twenty years, if anything. And we've okay, twenty years then. And we, and we weren't even born twenty years ago. Who? 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 How old am I? I don't know how old <laughs> you are? I'm not sure how old you are. But yeah, it's mad. I, I don't know what to <laughs> talk about tomorrow's game. I think the quality from both teams has been embarrassing. Um, both teams are a shambles right now from the top to the bottom. Both teams. Okay, Chelsea have got new owners. We're looking for new owners. We haven't got the money they've got, so they're doing all the evolution in three weeks. <laughs> right? We're looking to do it over a summer. It's mad. It's absolutely it's got, mad. It might be entertaining, though, because both it's, defenses it, it, are not... It, 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 yeah, it, it could be entertaining. It could be one of those one of those games where you just kick back and just, just vibes in it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what to predict. Obviously, I'm going to back my team with the home factor. And no disrespect for Chelsea. I can't even see us like right, right, raising it for a big game like Man City or a Spurs away or Napoli at home. Do you know what I mean? The, the three games that we've raised it for this season. Because, you know, Chelsea not playing great as well. And I've said it to you guys before. I think genuinely, and I mean it, I'm not just, I'm not just being pessimistic. I genuinely think we're the easiest team to play against right now. We are honestly we're the easiest team to play against, um, but then again Chelsea are shambles as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be a low quality, you know, game that we've can probably used to watch Man United Arsenal in the last is few it, years. Is it a must win? Yeah, of course it is. Above course it is. I don't know about them. I don't really care what they think it is to them. To me, every week that we don't win, the the the, the slim. Faint hopes of top four are evaporating. But if we win tomorrow, I know if, and I know we can't fucking win a game of football at the moment, but if we win, I think it puts us four points behind the top four, if I'm not wrong. And we've done we've done crazier comebacks than that. But obviously, we need to win a game of football. So, yeah, that's it, really. I don't know what else you want me to say about Liverpool right now. I think it's... Uh, Unfortunate the way it's all panned out, but yeah, it's a it's a write off season. What's your prediction? 
Oh, go on, yeah, let's do prediction. When we get to Matisse, you can give your... Oh, we'll talk about your team, in A couple of minutes, innit? No? Not even a couple no. of minutes? <laughs> you don't want to go straight in there. You want to no, get over no, 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 no. We go straight to predictions, please. I, I mean, if you want me to... Am I starting here on the home team, innit? Um, yeah. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with 2-0 Liverpool. Yeah. Two. Based on just... Supporting my team. Vibes. No, no cool. confidence. Yeah, vibes. Home vibes. crowd. You know, I've got no confidence in that actually being the score. Like a clean sheet. Fuck off, Liverpool clean sheet. But I'm just going to say 2-0. 2-0. Tobes? I don't know, man. Both teams are so shit right now. Um, I don't know. Um, who do you live... Is, is, is Nunes back? Yeah. Um, I guess I got to go for Liverpool at home, right? Um, I'll go for a two-one Liverpool win. In fact, one-nil Liverpool. Two-two-one Liverpool win. Two-one Liverpool win. And an answer? Two-one. Sorry, you know what? It's because I was actually trying to understand who's actually going to score for Chelsea. So yeah, two-one, two-one Liverpool win. That's a mystery in its in its own right. You're right, go on, Matisse. Um, it's the, the, what, where are you, man? At ninth, tenth. Oh well, shit! So Liverpool night. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. ninth. It's a mid off derby, isn't it? So this is around the position you lot tend to win Champions League. So you know you might still have something to smile. Oh, we ain't never won the Champions League from this position. Hell no. <laughs> Fifth and um, fourth. Um, Sixth and the fourth. Sorry, yeah. whatever year we knocked you out of the Champions League by winning it. I can't remember. Oh. What <laughs> I just corrected you. Hey, Sixth, man. Hey. I'm just I'm just making sure you're aware of what. <laughs> yeah, you right. finished sick. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Um, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Chelsea win. Again, vibes. 2-1 Chelsea win. I'm going 3-1 Liverpool. <laughs> Where's that come from? He does. He really doesn't like Chelsea this stream, man. Just let, allow, allow it, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we're shit? We're shit. Liverpool are just as shit. Have you watched Liverpool? Yeah. Mudrick, right, Mudrick, 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 Mudrick. I said, but you're saying you don't rate it. I said, you're shit, though. No, he, no I'm not saying in terms no, of he just don't rate us at all. As a club, he doesn't give a fuck right now. <laughs> Mudrick playing. He could start, but I think he could also play off. I reckon he will, because he threw Felix in there, didn't he, straight away? Yeah, but, Felix, yeah, but yeah. Mudrick hasn't played since late. Our goal is going to tell him, yo, you best play him. M- Mudrick, hasn't, <laughs> Mudrick, Mudrick, <laughs> Mudrick, Trent, he might be, he, he's, he's getting him fired oh, up to yeah. play. Oh. Madrid oh, has played since late November. I think Liverpool will win two now. Mm. You know, he, he's gone two one Chelsea. Do you know Liverpool for Steve? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Matisse for the two and all right. So Saeed's left. Go on, Saeed. Yeah, I'm gonna go just because Liverpool at home purely two one Liverpool. Two one. That's all of the predictions in people. Yep, all of it's in. I've got Hughes here as well. I told you that what it is already. Um, let me bring up the prediction table. Like I said, it's oh, not did my... I do Man City? Have you got my Man City Wolves one? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I've done it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's trying to rewrite because no, I came late. No, no, because I came late. I'm thinking, did I miss no, no, we got it? We got it. Okay. Here's the table, not much change. Um, everyone got a point in the midweek fixtures just for the Spotify and audio and um, platform listeners. Said still top on 83 points, Matisse in second, 76 points, Hughes in third, 73. I'm in fourth, 72. Tolbs, fifth, 70 points. And Grizz, bottom of the league, 68 points at this moment in time. That's how it's looking. What's the forfeit know. for bottom? Yeah, it was the same as same as last year's one. What, the chilli chip? Chilli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the concentrating court. on FPL this year. Anyway, like really have you nice seen the shit he eats, Grizz? He don't give a shit about no chilli chip. You better let him bag of chilli chips, man. <laughs> no, no, I hope it's not Tobes because the way he just backed Oi. it last season, there was no... Oi, do, you know, do you know what would be worse forfeit for me? You know that kebab we had in... <laughs> that film where I couldn't finish it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me, you and Saeed went... <laughs> oh, before the, before the recording. Before the recording, yes. Yeah, some mongoose kebab, man. Pop <laughs> knows what was in it, but what was in it? This lot munched it though. <laughs> this is better than money. Listen, have you ever, have you ever seen Saeed did a video once? Called yeah, yeah. Worst takeaway in Manchester, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember we'll this watch that video because yeah. that curry, that that Saeed deserves a gold medal for that. Yeah, yeah, this guy put his curry down. Or whatever it was, 
and I, I've never seen anything more disgusting in my life. <laughs> and I yeah, swear yeah. to God, I thought I, was I thought Saeed was gonna football. gonna take People off. Go watch that life. video on Saeed. What's <laughs> hey. the channel called, Saeed? I was on. It was Mali TV. Mali TV. Mali TV. Yeah, that's man, it. that curry and that place has got the worst reviews. People have been <laughs> dying of food poisoning and all sorts <laughs> in there. And he went and had the curry from there, man. Yo, <laughs> did you throw up? Did you throw up, Saeed? Bro, I, I was actually all right, you know. I don't know because I, I only dipped it, and I was like, "Nah, that's it for me." So, oh, okay, you didn't. The other guy that was with me though, he he fully went in and he was feeling so it. So he's man. got some bionic immune system, man. You don't know. No, 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 listen, man. Man. Anyway. But he said Hillard, man. We have, but he said <laughs> Hillard, So how's that place man. still open? That's mad. Bro, it's still alive, man. There was a guy that came in. He was like, "All right, pal, can I get my can I normal, please? Can I get me normal." <laughs> Can get me it normal? Was it a mad smell or something? The guy turned the aircon up or something and started. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bath, man. <laughs> yeah he literally, he was like, turn the aircon full blast and that, mate. It's mad. Oh, done a, no, done a couple of I don't want to bait the place, though, innit? Let, let my man do his thing, innit? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> everyone just ripping his place. It's mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, let him do his thing, man. Yeah, man. All right, we're going to end with the super chest I have saved from before. Thomas says, Matisse, to ease the pain, I always think to the times my granddad would say, be lucky you saw this era. Back in my day, I was going to the likes of Rotherham, Barnsley in the second division and getting stuffed. Best <laughs> YouTube channel. Appreciate Be it. humble. Be humble. I am so humble. What that's, you the moral, that's the moral of the story. What are you, I can't believe. Thank you, Thomas. Matthew says, Turkish was great talking to you on fans on today about Jakob. Love the big six. Keep up the great work, lads. P.S. Saeed, you're getting humbled on Sunday. Uh, Matthew, it was good talking you to you. can't say he's sending, no. No, I can't. Can you can you say it, Tobes? Kio, I don't know. Kio, <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Why did you call him Yaku? Easy, easy. Kiwio, 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 Kiwio. Um, I honestly think Arsenal will walk the league. It reminds me of us three years ago. Arsenal will win the league by ten to twelve points, in my opinion. That's from Liverpool fan Aaron. Michael says, "Imagine if Trossard scored two hat tricks at Anfield in one season." Won't happen, but come on, you gunners. Casemiro didn't want the smoke. It could have been a red. It could have been a red. It actually could have. It was a high. I love that. that. Casemiro didn't want to smoke. Five times Champions League winner, man. He's been there, done it, man. Party. You having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you having a laugh? You having a laugh, mate? <laughs> now, if party bangs on top bins and we get the win, then Scarfudge will sort it right there. And um, Boogeyman says, if anyone can do it, it's City that can stop Arsenal from winning the league. United are not in the title race, but top four is ours for sure. The one game at a time symbol. Locatelli and Vlahovic hold that 15 points. Jason says Chelsea deeper than Wu-Tang. Joseph, big up Turkish and the crew. Matisse, you need to calm down. Arsenal are on 13 league titles. Chelsea just have six. <laughs> late show, man. Late show. Lucas, Turkish, what do you think about the big Kamavinga loan links? I would love a number eight to compete in Matisse. I hope you get relegated. Bro, I'm not even thinking about Camavinga on loan. It's, 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 yeah, it's, uh, it, there, there, there's, I'm oh, so random now, isn't it? There's no so truth random. in it. Yeah, there's no truth in it. Click, click, click. That's what it's for. GD says United are the only English team to win the Premier League and Champions League in the same season. We've done it twice. Not even Grizz can relate. LOL. People are telling me it, it holds the same clout, finishing sick from winning it. But yeah, we move. Firemaster says Chelsea have a better women's team too. You have to count that too. This guy is still, but he's still going on about the the, the the size of the clubs thing. It's facts. Arsenal are the bigger club around the world. Saeed, at least a free kick reminded me of Nakamura against United at Celtic Park. That is exactly what it is, you know. Fair play, good memory, man. Too fresh says that logic is poor. Because essentially what you're saying is any of the trophies won now should get downplayed and laughed at in 30, 40 years. Well, he was actually talking 100 years ago, but anyway, is what it is. And 30, if... 40. <laughs> Turkish ain't going to let this go, in it. <laughs> Matisse, Matisse is on the list now. I'm, I'm waiting for the day. I'm going rem to remember this day. I'm going to remember this fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> NG music because one of the worst days of my fucking life was that Barcelona final. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Barcelona final comparison to the last 10 15 years of Arsenal. Do you think you'll win a Champions League before we win another one? Before you win another one, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about will we win a Champions League while I'm still alive, me. I, I, <laughs> I, I, fair, fair enough. I, I don't know. I can't tell you, mate. <laughs> and, but I always, I always did say, and I said it on this show that if you ask me what major i'd want to win next it was always the premier league yeah i hear that i hear that i hear that before 
Yeah. Attitude and character United show on Sunday after suffering a setback will show how far this team has come. Down to the last eight, three-one United. We're going to kill you men on the counter. I don't know about that because we'll probably have most possession, but I'm going with the same result. Question for you guys: Would you rather your club sign Nunes for eighty-five million or Weghurst for two point six million? Tough question. You're better off with a Brockhurst from the German market than him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. City got slapped by 20th place. That's from Z. I see Matisse make, talking the most about Champions League, but winning the league unbeaten is harder. Proof being only Arsenal are the only... Proof being only Arsenal are the team to do it, unlike Champions League wins. Nice. The way that Invincibles is downplayed is funny still, but... <laughs> the Big hey. Six is looking for a Newcastle fan to replace Toby for 23-24 season. Cheers. There's no replacing Toby, people. I know his team's yeah, dead, but Toby's here to stay, mate. Trust me, trust me. Nah, give him what they want, innit? Give him what they want. Let's see, let's see how that, let's see how that pans out. <laughs> nah, man, you're part. You, you are the. They, big want, six. they want Alan. They want Alan Shearer on the big six, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so they want Alan Shearer. <laughs> Alan Shearer. <laughs> <laughs> Rohit says Turkish. If your gaffer has any shame, he'll drop party and make it a level playing field. <laughs> All banter aside, hope it's a cracker on Sunday. It should be. And Dan, final one I've got here. This Chelsea brother coming with chest about you, man. <laughs> won't even talk for 60 seconds in his own club. Oh. I don't want to waste time, man. It's over two hours, man. Man, I've got beds. Do you know what I'm saying? Life to live. You got a bed? Yeah, I've got a bed. Have you nice. got a bed? Yeah, I've got a bed. All right, cool. <laughs> <Can> I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish the super chat. Let me finish that the was hella weird, man. Chill, no, man. because it is. <laughs> 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 are you sharing beds? What's going on here, man? <laughs> bro? Are you mad? Don't, 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 are you mad? Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Getting all the little virgins in the comments to start saying pause because uh, because we were asking. <laughs> here we go. Look, here, 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 Fucking hell, man. <laughs> All right, that's All right super chat's done. Yo. Predictions done. Topics done. We are back Monday night. Tobes, you're good with Monday night after the game, yeah? What time? Half ten. Uh, yeah, I think I should be done with whatever I'm recording by then. Yeah, uh, cool. So, yeah. people, half ten Monday, game week 21 review. We'll review the United Arsenal game, the Chelsea Liverpool game, all the other results across the weekend. If there's any more transfer news to talk about, we'll talk about that. And um, a big special thanks to Big Steve for slotting back in again. It's been a little while. He's always welcome. Love for that, Steve. No problem, mate. Come on. Um, more content to record for the official channel too coming up real soon. Just waiting on the next date for the London link up, and we'll do that. Um, and yeah, don't forget, people, Saturn System, there's a link in the chat. There's a link in the description. All your media needs, sports, anytime, anywhere, any place, movies, TV shows, Netflix, YouTube, all of that. All you've got to do is go follow their Instagram, shoot them a DM, let them know you've come from the Big Six show and my man will sort you out and they'll sort you out good. So make sure you do that if you need any of that, people. I'm sure delivery can be made across the world. If not, he'll, he'll let you know himself or they'll let you know themselves so make sure you guys support the thing they supported the show so you know what to do already if you need satin media based go to satin system instagrams they are um and aside from that that is it hit the like button on the way out people tune in monday for the review show where hugh will be back in the hot seat for city and we'll see what the league table is looking like then love for the love people we are out peace <laughs>